logging 10,000 years into the future. Chapter 51 Beasts Tread Alone, While Cattle Herd Together Spirituality as Eyes, a hundred meters in all directions without dead angle detection, open perspective hanging this is the basic role. Using X-ray vision was a basic functionality now. Then he spread the spiritual power throughout the surface of his body. For example, the spiritual power focused on the legs, could not only reduce the resistance from air, but also generate propulsion force, greatly increase his speed. He could also in achieve an effect similar to making him weightless. L. Yu Sheng estimated that if his spiritual power was strong enough to a certain extent, he could even rely solely on it to levitate. When the same spiritual energy was concentrated on his fist, it could enhance his explosive power to a certain extent. But it could also be used without augmenting his body parts. L. Yu Sheng had tried it before, and he could completely rely on his spiritual power to lift a heavy object of about 20 kilograms. This was almost equivalent to the telekinesis described in novels. There were also people who simply used their spiritual power to thrash people. L. Yu Sheng had tried to attack zombies in the dream world using just his spiritual power, but the results weren't ideal. Still, considering how the zombies were rendered nearly unconscious immediately, the power it could generate was much stronger than he had previously anticipated. In short, spiritual power was like a panacea for L. Yu Sheng. It could be used everywhere, and was effective every time. It could not get any better. At this moment, what appeared in front of everyone was a sealed passage with four walls made of pure steel plates. It was about two meters wide and could accommodate four people walking side by side. Someone reached out and knocked on the wall, and a dull ringing sound came from within the wall. Their expressions dured at that. This proved that the surrounding walls were much thicker than they had thought. L. Yu Sheng just stood in the corner watching the group of teenagers conducting various experiments, in fact, he had already scouted everything underneath the moment he had entered the space. The steel plates on the walls were more than 50 centimeters thick, and there was a concrete wall behind the steel plates. Basically, there was only one way to go. In addition, there were some unexpected contraptions hidden in the wall. Of course, these teenagers needed to discover those by themselves. From the looks of it, this is the so-called induction ceremony. Among the students from Qing Yuan City, there was a tall, thin, and handsome boy with a proud expression on his face. He sneered and said, I thought it would be something special, so it's just this? So boring. Someone shouted, Lin Sheyu, did you already know that there was something fishy about the induction ceremony? Fuck, why didn't you remind everyone about it earlier? I fell down on my butt, and it hurts so much that I feel it's going to split. The boy called Lin Sheyu glanced at him in disdain and said, You don't even have the ability to adapt to the situation, and you still have the nerve to call yourself an official martial artist. You. The youth who was ridiculed had a look of shame and anger on his face, but he didn't dare to do anything. All right, stop arguing. We are all from the same city, and it wasn't easy for us to get into this training camp. None of us want to be eliminated. Let's hurry up and think of a way to clear this test. A tall and sweet-looking girl came out to smooth things over. What can we do? We can keep moving forward. Someone said, didn't the person who led us in just now say that we can clear the examination if we reach the exit? If we stick together, we will definitely be able to pass the subsequent tests. After all, we have ten level one martial artists. Suddenly, someone pointed at L. Yu Sheng in the corner and said, What about this guy? He's not from Qing Yuan City. Suddenly, all eyes landed on L. Yu Sheng. These people stared at L. Yu Sheng, and their expressions gradually became playful. Just in time. Since we don't know what dangers lie ahead, we can use him to test out the way ahead. Someone suggested. Immediately someone echoed. That's a good idea. The pretty girl from earlier was reluctant, this. I don't think that's a good idea. He's here to participate in the training, just like us. The boy called Lin Sheyu smiled and reassured her, 
what does it matter, people like him who came in through connections and didn't even pass the level 1 official martial artist test, even if they enter the training camp, they will be eliminated out in a few days. The boy called Lin Sheyu smiled and comforted her, it doesn't matter. People like him who rely on connections to get in and didn't even clear the martial arts assessment will be eliminated in a few days even if he enters the training camp. It doesn't matter. That's right. L. Yu Shang listened in amusement on the side and shook his head and stood out. Yo, you're quite proactive. Lin Sheyu nodded and said, Kid from Beihe City, if you behave well, we might consider giving you a hand and let you follow behind us later. L. Yu Sheng smiled with a calm face and said indifferently, Beasts tread alone, while cattle herd together. After saying that, L. Yu Sheng walked towards the passage without looking back. They were stunned. Lin She Yu quickly reacted and a look of shame and anger appeared on his face. Fuck, how dare you call me cattle? Lin She Yu rushed forward, raised his fist, and tried to punch L. Yu Sheng from behind. At this moment, the steel plates on both sides of the passage between Lin Sheyu and El Yusheng suddenly shrank, and a black shadow emerged from the wall. Lin Sheyu jumped and retracted his body. Immediately after, as if it was some kind of chain reaction was triggered. Sounds of a series of mechanical clicks and cogs of machines running could be heard behind the steel plated wall, and a many black shadows scurried about one after another. In just a few seconds, the originally empty passageway was filled with tall and burly figures. There were black shadows of burly figures blocking their way every few meters, and there was only so much gap left between them. When the group from the Qing Yuan city saw the black shadow's appearance, their expressions changed. Someone blurted out. Mechanical Puppets Chapter 52 Fuck, It's a Level 2 Each of the shadows that appeared in the tunnel was nearly two meters tall. The puppets had long arms and legs, and had smooth glossy surfaces. Other than a pair of eyes that glowed with a faint red light, it had no facial features. They were made of an unknown dark yellow alloy, with thick rubber covers on their joints, giving them an incredibly heavy and sturdy feeling of security. Of course, if there was a black mass standing in front of you, it would be very difficult to deal with them. This sense of security instantly turned into a sense of oppression. The teenagers from Qing Yuan City were the same. They all had unsightly expressions on their faces, even Lin Sheyu was the same. They looked like they had chewed on a fly. Even the weakest of the mechanical puppets is stronger than a level 1 martial artist. There are so many of them here. Is the training camp trying to kill us? Fuck. This place is so cramped there's nowhere to run. What should I do? Although he had detected them in his spiritual perception, L. Yu Sheng still felt a little strange looking at them standing in front of him. The mechanical puppets were actually a kind of martial arts puppets named after the mechanical wooden puppets that were popular in the ancient martial arts era. It was the product of the combination of modern technology and martial arts. The bodies of these mechanical puppets were completely manufactured by modern industry but their brains were stored with all kinds of high-level programs that contained all kinds of martial arts moves. Once it was activated, it could display the combat power of an official martial artist. L. Yu Sheng had only seen such things on television before. Some wealthy families would purchase these mechanical puppets as bodyguards, and some high-class academies would use these mechanical puppets as sparring partners. It was said that the highest grade mechanical puppet was comparable to a level 4 martial artist, but the cost of producing one was much higher than the cost of nurturing a level 4 martial artist. This was the first time L. Yu Sheng had seen such a high-end product, so he couldn't help but be curious. He moved closer to take a closer look. Idiot! Lin She Yu, who saw this scene from behind, revealed a speechless expression. He said, this country bumpkin from Beihe has probably never seen a mechanical puppet before. These mechanical puppets that have their restrictions lifted would immediately attack once they sensed a moving object approaching. A level 1 mechanical puppet made from a special alloy, and its fists were extremely hard. A single punch could cause a level 1 martial artist to bleed internally. A level 1 mechanical puppet, 
made from special alloy, have extremely hard fists and body. A single punch can cause a level 1 martial artist to bleed internally. This brat isn't even a level 1 martial artist, yet he still dares to stick his head out. I reckon he's going to get a concussion. The others were looking at him in schadenfreude, as if they were awaiting a good show. Only the sweet-looking girl had a worried expression. She opened her mouth, wanting to warn L. Yu Sheng, but was afraid of attracting the attention of the mechanical puppets. Just as Lin Sheyu said, L. Yu Sheng took two steps forward. The red light in the eyes of the two mechanical puppets flashed, and they raised their fists at the same time, fiercely striking towards him. Humph! Lin Sheyu crossed his arms in front of his chest, a mocking look on his face. Previously, when L. Yu Sheng called him cattle, he was worried that he would not be able to teach L. Yu Sheng a lesson. Now that L. Yu Sheng was in trouble, he was happier than anyone else. Be careful. The sweet looking girl couldn't help but cry out. Just when everyone thought they were about to see a horrible scene, what happened in the next second made them all widen their eyes. Bang! Bang! There were two muffled sounds. Two dark alloy fists the size of bowls were firmly grasped by a fair and slender hand, one on the left and one on the right. During this process, L. Yu Sheng's body did not even sway or waver. He actually, actually caught it. The youths from Qing Yuan City had an incredulous expression on their faces. Lin Sheyu, who had his arms crossed, was also stunned. He suddenly stood up straight, wondering if he had seen wrongly. Level 1 mechanical puppets had alloy skin and iron skeletal system, and their CPI was close to 1000. They also had basic martial arts techniques inbuilt into them, and in actual combat, they could completely crush most level 1 martial artists. Even some level 2 martial artists might not be able to suppress them. After all, they were machines, not humans, and would not get tired or hurt. Although Lin Sheyu had always been very confident, he knew that he would never dare to directly receive fist of a level 1 mechanical puppet. With the obvious difference in strength, wouldn't he be looking for a beating? But now, he actually saw a student from Beihe City who had entered through connections, and whose strength had not even reached level 1. He had actually used his palms to receive the full-powered attacks of the puppet head-on. This scene was even more shocking than seeing the old man selling crepes downstairs suddenly jump three meters into the air and transform into a martial arts expert. Just when Lin Sheyu and the youths from Qing Yuan City were in a daze, an even more shocking scene occurred. Creak creak. A teeth-numbing sound of straining machines rang out. The youths widened their eyes as they watched. The arms of the two mechanical puppets were slowly being lifted by a pair of fair palms. Because the mechanical parts clashed with the program's instructions, the joints of the mechanical puppet's arms emitted large amounts of sparks, accompanied by ear-piercing sounds. What the someone's mouth was wide open as he let out an incredulous cry. This guy has a strength greater than a level 1 mechanical puppet. Is he still human? The others were also shocked, and could not find the words to describe their feelings. The sweet-looking girl had already covered her mouth with her hands, and her round eyes were filled with shock and astonishment. Ha ha ha! At this time, a peal of laughter suddenly rang out. Everyone looked towards the source of the sound, and saw Lin Sheyu laughing loudly. He shook his head and said self-deprecatingly, I was almost fooled by the people from the training camp. How are these level 1 mechanical puppets? They are clearly underperforming products that are not even level 1. Their actual CPI is far from a real level 1, and they are only trying to bluff us through their stature. This should be the case, if there were truly so many level 1 mechanical puppets here, how could anyone clear the test? Lin Sheyu pointed at L. Yu Sheng, who was still calm as he stopped the two mechanical puppets, causing sparks to fly everywhere. With an exaggerated expression, he shouted at everyone, Do you guys really think that this guy, who took a backdoor entry to the camp, and isn't even a level 1 martial artist could withstand the attacks of two level 1 mechanical puppets, simultaneously? The youths blinked their eyes, and their expressions were a little confused. 
it was obvious that they could not follow Lin Sheyu's train of thought. Forget it, it's hard to explain to a bunch of idiots like you, Lin Sheyu waved his hand in defeat, and slowly moved forward. If you don't understand, then open your eyes wide and watch how I clear the test. Lin Sheyu flicked his hair, and suddenly sped up, and then confidently rushed towards the two mechanical puppets in front of him. Lin Sheyu's figure was as fast as an arrow, and in the blink of an eye, he was in front of the two mechanical puppets. The eyes of the two mechanical puppets that were silent suddenly glowed red. At the same time, they punched out. Bam! A figure suddenly flew back, and with a bam and heavily smashed into the innermost wall. Lin Sheyu's body slowly slid down the wall like a rag cloth, and his expression twitched. He slowly raised a hand as if he wanted to grab something. Fuck. This is not a level 1 mechanical puppet, it's, it's a fucking level 2. After saying this, Lin Sheyu's head dropped, and he directly fainted. The others saw everything that happened in a flash, and their mouths started to open bit by bit, and their expressions were so shocked that they could not say a word. Chapter 53 Where did this level 2 come from? Its internal structure is far more complicated than I imagined it to be. L. Yu Sheng's spiritual power probed into the mechanical puppet's body. After carefully studying it for a while, he quickly lost interest. He abruptly released the fists of the two mechanical puppets he was holding. The two mechanical arms, that had been in a state of conflict between the program instruction and mechanical execution, finally reached their limit under the sudden release which caused an overload in the circuits of the puppet. With a crash, a mechanical arm was directly torn off from one of the puppet's shoulder joints. His strength is almost on par with a level 2 martial artist. L. Yu Sheng did not need to turn his head to know what was happening behind him. Naturally, he was aware of Lin Sheyu's miserable state. He did not know what was wrong with that fellow's brain, to actually dare to learn from him and fight against two level 2 mechanical puppets head on, where did he get his confidence from? Let's try defending again. The mechanical puppet that had lost an arm did not seem to have any intention of stopping. It continued to raise its remaining arm and smashed down fiercely at L. Yu Sheng. But to L. Yu Sheng, the attack was a bit too slow. L. Yu Sheng only tilted his head to the side, and he easily dodged the arms of the two mechanism puppets. Then. He punched out. Boom. This punch landed heavily on the chest of one of the mechanical puppets. The thick alloy chest let out an ear-piercing sound of steel rupturing, and then it quickly caved in. Bang! A large cluster of sparks burst out. A large hole appeared on the back of the mechanical puppet, and a fair and powerful fist came through it. L. Yu Sheng casually pulled his fist out of the puppet's body and blocked another puppet's attack while he was at it. The red light in the eyes of the nearly two-meter-tall mechanical puppet flickered for a moment before gradually extinguishing. Then, it swayed and fell down, letting out a dull thud. Boom! The group from Ching Yuan City, who were still standing at the entrance of the passageway, had a huge emotional shock and trembled violently. It was too terrifying. This was the only thought they had for Liu Sheng. Seeing how L. Yu Sheng easily dealt with the two mechanical puppets, the youth suddenly recalled what L. Yu Sheng had said earlier. Beasts tread alone, while cattle herd together. Compared to the current L. Yu Sheng, these people who were trembling in front of the mechanical puppets were indeed like a herd of frightened cattle. L. Yu Sheng's upright, tall, and lean figure, quickly became imposing in their eyes. Clearly, the other party was only a youth about the same age as them. Bang! Boom! A series of loud noises reverberated in the narrow passageway, and the eyelids of the youths couldn't help but twitch. Monster! The youths couldn't find a more suitable word to describe the figure in the distance. Looking at the mechanical puppets that had fallen to the ground like scrap metal, the hearts of the youths were wailing. This was a genuine level 2 mechanical puppet. Level 2. Not level 1. It wasn't a half-finished product, either. Evidence could be found just by looking at Lin Sheyu, who was lying on the ground in a near-death state. In L. Yu Sheng's hands, 
these impenetrable existences were as fragile as scarecrows stuck in a wheat field. At this moment, these youths from Qing Yuan City, who had been praised by countless people as geniuses, monsters, but they finally began to see reality. They finally understood what kind of existences these actually geniuses and monsters were like. Why did they have to let mere mortals like them be in the same training camp as these monsters? Mom, I want to go home. L. Yu Sheng knocked down each and every mechanical puppet in front of him one by one. With his spiritual power, he could inspect the internal structure of these mechanical puppets, and easily find the core of each mechanical puppet. Then attack their weak points. It was very easy. He didn't even need a second hit to knock down each mechanical puppet. Just as L. Yu Sheng crushed the skull of a mechanical puppet, his expression suddenly changed. He could clearly see that, in front of the passageway, there was a figure rapidly approaching him. L. Yu Sheng's eyes lit up slightly, and a look of anticipation appeared on his face. Has the second test finally begun? You've made me wait for too long. At the same time, a handsome youth with a mole hidden in his left eyebrow was rushing through the passageway. He held something that looked like a remote control tightly in his hand. There were more than ten buttons on the remote control, and above each button was a corresponding green light. At this moment, the ten green lights on the remote control in the youth's hand were rapidly turning red one after another. In just a few minutes, more than eighty percent of the green lights turned red. Looking at the blinding red lights, the youth's face filled with anxiety. Fuck. 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 What's going on? Why are all the mechanical puppets malfunctioning all of a sudden? Didn't they that just arrive? The youth was burning with anxiety. As the person in charge of this passageway, not only was he responsible for the safety of the youths, but he was also responsible for the wear and tear of the mechanical puppets in the passageway. Generally speaking, as long as the mechanical puppets were not completely damaged, everything would be fine. How much could a group of kids who had just reached the standard of a level 1 martial artist damage a level 2 mechanical puppet? Was that even possible? Even if they used all their tricks and knowledge, they would probably only be able to break the paint on the mechanical puppet's outer shell. Therefore, the youth was relieved and hid at the side for a while, preparing to come out and save the day when it was about time. After all, the real purpose of this assessment was to crush the arrogance of this group of so-called top geniuses of Dongning province so that they would remember and suffer some physical pain. However, he did not expect that the remote control in his hand would start flashing crazily right after he had dozed off for a while. More than ten mechanical puppets had malfunctioned and had broken down. Just thinking about the cost of a mechanical puppet. Fuck. I can't afford it even if I sell myself. Thinking of this, the youth's footsteps quickened. Finally, he reached the end of the passageway. From afar, he saw a lean and handsome youth boy amidst a pile of scrap metal, slowly pulling his arm out of a mechanical puppet's chest. When the youth noticed his arrival, he did not look surprised at all. Instead, he looked excited. His crystal clear eyes gradually glowed, and there was a burning desire to fight in them. You're finally here. The youth's expression was a little confused. His gaze fell on the mechanical puppets that were in a terrible state, and his mind went blank for a moment, losing the ability to think. His heart began bleeding. Suddenly, a gust of wind sounded in his ears. The youth's hair stood on end, and he instinctively retreated. Then, a young figure leaped high in front of him. His figure blocked the light from the top floor of the passageway, casting a shadow on his face. All the youth could see was a pair of burning eyes filled with anticipation. Come, guardian of the second test, I hope you won't disappoint me. The youth was confused. When did I become the guardian of the second stage? Also, where the fuck did this second test come from? Chapter 54 Dong Kinks You in a huge control room. Dong Kingsu sat in front of a table with her head lowered as she flipped through some documents. Her well-tailored dark blue uniform accentuated her perfect figure. Her slender legs were slightly crossed under the table. 
even though they were wrapped in long pants, they were still as beautiful as a painting. Across from Dong Qingxiu, in front of a large display screen and numerous buttons, a slender and handsome young man held a cup of coffee in his hand. As he admired the scene in front of him, he sighed from the bottom of his heart. What a pleasant and blissful day! Dong Qingxiu raised her head and looked at the young man, whose epaulette had only one less star than hers. Her slender brows furrowed into beautiful lines on her pretty face. If you're really free, please come over and help me review the documents. Major Qin Shea Jun. The young man took a sip of his coffee and laughed. He avoided her gaze as he said, I'm busy, Lieutenant Colonel Kingsu. Besides, you're the main person in charge of the prodigy training camp this time. I'm just a temporary assistant. Dong Kingsu stared at the young man for a while. In the end, she had no choice but to give up. The young man was known for his laziness. Besides, she was the one who had forced him to come and help this time. Dong Qingxiu shook her head and continued flipping through the thick documents in her hand. The young man took a few sips of coffee. Perhaps he was bored, so he glanced over slowly. His eyes scanned the documents scattered on the table casually as he asked, How is it? How's the quality of this year's prodigy training camp? Not good. Dong Qingxiu shook her head and said calmly, There are only eight people in total who can be considered seedlings that meet our standards. All of them are official martial artists who have awakened their talents. Five of them are average. They only awakened the most common strength type talents. The other three. Dong Qingxiu picked out three documents from the pile and tossed them to the young man. One of them is a speed type talent and the other is a defense type talent. Both of them have reached the standard of a level two martial artists. This one is the most outstanding. Dong Qingxiu picked out another document from the pile. She pointed at a girl with a determined gaze in the picture and said, Xiaolin, 17 years and 8 months old. She has awakened her spiritual power less than two years ago. She's close to becoming a level 1 spiritual master. She also has excellent talent in martial arts. She's about to enter level 2. Isn't that good? The young man exclaimed with an exaggerated expression an absolute genius, just like you back then. Her gaze is also very similar to yours. Kinks you, I think this little girl is fated to follow you. Stop fooling around. Dong Kinks you shook her head, but there was still a hint of emotion in her eyes. She said, this girl is indeed very good. I've already listed her to be the focus of this training camp. The others aren't bad either. The young man tried to find a document that was pleasing to his eyes from the pile of documents on the table. After swiping away two of the three documents that Dong Qingxiu had picked out, his gaze landed on the first document at the bottom. This. The young man picked up a document and waved it in front of Dong Qingxiu. He smiled and said, He's handsome enough, just like me. And he's outstanding in every aspect, too. His BQV has reached the standard of a level 2 martial artist. His combat power. Fuck. Perfection Realm Fist Technique, combat power comparable to a level 3 martial artist. How could you throw away such a good seedling? Kinks you, when did your standards become so high? Dong Kinks you shook her head and said, I know which one you're talking about. This Liu Sheng was also one of the first tier seeds that I've chosen. He's even comparable to Xiaolin. However, I took him out later. You should know why, Shea Jun. Dong Qingxiu looked into the Shea Jun's eyes. The exaggerated shock on the young man's face faded bit by bit. Finally, he calmed down. I know. It's because of his talent. Yes, it's because of his talent. Dong Qingxiu nodded and said, the upper limit of a strength type talent is too low. It's indeed terrifying in the early stages. Under the augmentation of divine power, a level 1 or level 2 awakened strength type talents can unleash combat power in the tens of thousands or even several tens of thousands. However, once they reach the later stages, 
the little boost in strength brought by their talent will be useless against a level 6 or level 7 martial artist's huge BQV. In the end, they'll just fade into the crowd. The young man remained silent. Just as Dong Kingsu had said, strength type talents would only bring a small advantage to martial artists in the later stages of martial arts until it was negligible. A level 6 martial artist's BQV exceeded 1000, and a level 7 master's BQV exceeded 10,000. One could just imagine. Under the surging BQV of a master who had a million point in CPI, how much of a boost in strength could add to their abilities? A master could easily comprehend skills and technique that would be more useful than these types of talents. On the other hand, the few people that Dong Kingsu had picked out. There was nothing much to be said about Zaylin, as a spiritual master, she was a treasure wherever she went. As for the other two, one was a speed type talent and the other was a defense type talent. These two talents were very useful in the later stages of martial arts. The speed type talent could easily break the speed of sound in the later stages. The defense type talent was equivalent to one cultivating to full mastery in parallel martial arts. It was so powerful that some master martial artists of the same level. Therefore, although strength type talent displayed by these two students were not as good as that student named Liu Sheng. However, Qin Shijun was almost certain that in 10 or 20 years, the achievements these two would have in martial arts would far surpass Liu Sheng. This was an ironclad rule that had been summed up by countless experiences and examples over the past 300 years of martial arts. There were no exceptions. Chapter 55 When did you let in a level 4 martial artist? Do you remember the batch we were in? That person. Xiang Peng. Dong Kingsu asked. Qin Shijun nodded. I know. There were many talented people in that batch. The batch Dong Kingsu was referring to had more than 20 gifted martial artists in the prodigy training camp. The Xiang Peng she was talking about was the king of that batch. When he entered the camp, his BQV was close to a level 3 martial artists, and his strength was extraordinary. He was almost everyone's nightmare. Qin Shijun recalled parts of his body that were beaten up by him, which he still felt were hurting. One could only imagine how terrifying that guy was back then. He's now, Dong Kingsu paused, and said in a more tactful way, he's not as dazzling as before. Qin Shijun nodded silently. In truth, Dong Kingsu did not know that he had secretly gone to look for that person once. When he went, he gritted his teeth and wanted to take revenge for what happened back then. However, when he saw him, he was dispirited and could not arouse any interest. They were no longer on the same level. There was no need to even mention revenge. This Liu Sheng is talented, but it's a pity, Dong Kingsu picked up Liu Sheng's information and scanned it from top to bottom. She sighed with emotion. This time, it was Qin Shijun's turn to comfort Dong Kingsu. There's nothing to pity. The ones who are truly pitiful are these people. Qin Shijun patted the thick stack of information on the remaining students. He was speechless. They only have one or two points of BQV and were coaxed in by you guys as geniuses. In reality, they're just here to make up the numbers. Not only do they not get any benefits, but they might also be beaten up by these monsters. From then on, they'll be left with deep and indelible physical and psychological trauma. Dong Kingsu rolled her eyes at him and said, What nonsense are you talking about? You're exaggerating. Even if they're just there to make up numbers, the training camp will still be of great help to them. Other places don't have such good cultivation conditions. Qin Shijun shrugged. He did not comment. Just as the two of them were chatting, the giant composite machine opposite them suddenly changed. Qin Shijun quickly walked over. It's finally time for the show, he whistled merrily. On the console in front of him, a few indicators that were originally green suddenly turned red and made a slight noise. Passageway number 3, two mechanical puppets have sustained more than 10% damage. Passageway number 8 also has. Qin Shijun held his coffee in one hand and quickly operated on the table with the other. Soon, 
two separate surveillance images were displayed on the huge display screen. Dong Qingxiu also came over to watch. In one of the images, there was a young man with a strong and sturdy figure. The young man had a peculiar, pale grey-white hue on his face and body. As the level 2 mechanical puppet attacked him, it produced a deep thud akin to a hammer striking the ground, leaving behind only a faint white imprint. Taking advantage of its brief immobility, the young man rampaged through the passageway like a raging bull. One after another, the mechanical puppets were knocked to the ground by him. There were even some that were hit head on, their shoulders and chests caved in from the impact. Is this the guy who awakened a defensive type talent? Stone skin constitution? I remember there was one in our batch as well, Qin Shaijun said with slight surprise. Dong Qingxiu nodded and said, Qi Meng, he's currently serving in the southern military region with the rank of captain. Oh, yes, he now has upgraded it to steel physique. Qin Shaijun clicked his tongue. On the other surveillance image was a skinny young man. This young man was so fast that even the surveillance images could barely capture his figure. All they could see was the mechanical puppets that were being attacked continuously on the screen, appearing extremely clumsy. Speed type, he's always been shameless, Qin Shaijun sighed. At this moment, a series of urgent notifications suddenly rang from the table, and a few indicators turned from green to red. Loss rate of 15%, loss rate of 23%, loss rate of 30%, Qin Shaijun looked at the series of numbers, and he seemed to grow excited. His eyes became brighter and brighter, and one of his hands moved quickly on the console. Soon, the third surveillance image appeared on the big screen. The content shown in this image was far beyond the imagination of ordinary people. A skinny girl walked in the dark, sealed passageway with an expressionless face. She did not have to do much. Wherever she passed, the mechanical puppets in front of her would be repelled by an invisible force and embedded deep into the steel wall beside them, automatically making way for the girl. That's, insane. Qin Shaijun looked at this scene that resembled the plot of a sci-fi movie and squeezed out a few choice words from his mouth. He looked at Dong Qingxiu with eyes full of undisguised envy. You spiritual masters are like bugs in the system. Do you not want us ordinary people to live? Dong Qingxiu stared at the girl in the image without blinking. A faint smile appeared on her lips as she said, Spiritual masters are powerful, but the difficulty of cultivation is too high. After level 3, their progress will be slow. Moreover, spiritual masters with weak talent can't compare to martial artists, so they might as well focus on martial arts. However, it's true that spiritual masters have an easier time breaking through to the master level. Qin Shaijun listened to Dong Qingxiu's words with envy. He was about to take a sip from his coffee, when a series of ear-piercing alarms rang out of nowhere. It was very unsettling in the empty command room. What's wrong? Both of them were startled. Qin Shaijun quickly operated on the table. Passageway 12 when the information for Passageway 12 was pulled out, Qin Shaijun suddenly screamed as if he had seen a ghost. He could not even hold the coffee in his hand properly, and it spilled all over the floor. Degree of damage 80%, degree of damage 87%, degree of damage. Fuck. There were a total of 20 mechanical puppets, and more than 15 of them are over 80% damaged. They're almost scrapped. Dong Qingxiu, when did you let in a level 4 martial artist? Chapter 56 That person was so scary. Hurry up and pull up the surveillance footage. Dong Qingxiu urged him while her eyes were glued to the big screen. Qin Shaijun did not care about spilling coffee all over his hands and floor. He wiped them on his clothes and hurriedly pulled up the surveillance footage. When the surveillance footage of passageway number 12 was displayed before them, even people like them who had been through a lot could not help but narrow their eyes slightly. Their expressions were dazed for a moment. In the footage of passageway number 12, they could only see a group of pale-faced youths hiding in a corner, trembling. One of them was even unconscious on the ground. All of them were looking in the same direction with terrified expressions on their faces. 
they looked like ordinary people who had seen a monster in movies. Following their gazes, Dong Qingxiu and Qin Shaijun saw a mess strewn about all over the ground. The ground was littered with broken mechanical puppets. Broken limbs and parts of the mechanical puppets were scattered all over the place, as well as other parts that had fallen from their bodies. As the camera zoomed in, Dong Qingxiu and Qin Shaijun saw the ghastly wounds on the mechanical puppets and the walls beside them. The walls of the passageway, which were made of pure steel, were riddled with deep cavities. The entire passage looked like it had been ravaged by some terrifying monster. Damn it! Dong Qingxiu's expression turned ugly. The cost of building a level 2 mechanical puppet was not cheap. So many of them were damaged at once. Moreover, it was not just ordinary damage. They were basically scrapped. This was undoubtedly a huge loss of funds. After all, the base had just purchased this batch of level 2 mechanical puppets. Fuck. Qin Shaijun could not help but curse, even a level 3 martial artist couldn't beat up a level 2 mechanical puppet like this. Their combat strength must be on par with at least level 4 martial artists. Is there such a monster in this batch of students? Qin Shaijun turned to look at Dong Qingxiu. Dong Qingxiu lowered her head and flipped through the information. Passageway number 12 was arranged for the Qing Yuan City students. There aren't any outstanding people in Qing Yuan City this year. Could it be that someone snuck in? Dong Qingxiu frowned. She wanted to grab the phone on the table and investigate, but she quickly put it down. Forget it. We'll know when we get there. Dong Qingxiu was a little frustrated. Are the supervisors of passageway number 12 all dead? So many mechanical puppets have been destroyed, and they don't even know how to stop them. She suddenly stopped halfway through her sentence. Dong Qingxiu and Qin Shaijun looked at each other and thought of the same possibility at the same time. Perhaps it wasn't that the personnel in charge of supervising passageway 12 didn't come out to stop, but that they didn't have the ability to stop the person at all. Thinking back to the horrifying scenes, she had seen earlier, Dong Qingxiu's heart skipped a beat. Hurry up! Let's go to passageway 12. The two of them hurriedly rushed out of the control room. Boom! A mechanical puppet was sent flying by an invisible force and fell to the ground. The mechanical puppet's eyes flashed with a red light as it stood up shakily. There was a depression of a few centimeters on its chest. Xiaolin looked at the mechanical puppet with vigilance. Only when she was sure that it was the same as the previous mechanical puppet and would no longer attack after being knocked down once did she let out a sigh of relief. This was the last mechanical puppet. This also meant that she had passed this time's entrance examination. Xiaolin quickly walked towards the exit. When she was near the exit, she stopped and looked behind her with a pensive expression. Her spiritual strength told her that someone was hiding there. A person who gave her a strong sense of danger was at least level 3 or above. He didn't come out to stop me, which means that he's not part of the examination. He should be one of the supervisors in charge of the examination. Xiaolin guessed. Xiaolin reached out and opened the door to the exit. Light shone in from outside. Only then did she completely relax. Xiaolin walked out of the small door. She suddenly realized that there were many soldiers in blue military uniforms gathered outside the door. However, these people were obviously not here for her. Each of them had a nervous expression on their faces, as if they were about to face a great enemy. They were staring in a direction to the side. Xiaolin looked in that direction curiously. She saw another small door. Just as Xiaolin was puzzled. Creak. The small door was pushed open from the inside. The moment the small door was opened, Xiaolin, who had sharp senses, immediately noticed everybody's bodies tense up. They seemed to be afraid and nervous about something. Out of curiosity, Xiaolin released her spiritual power and carefully probed inside the door. Suddenly, Xiaolin's body stiffened. She saw a person through her spiritual perception. The person was dragging another while he was coming out. And the person had obviously noticed Xiaolin's presence. From the darkness, 
that person slowly peeked out half of his body, revealing a fair and handsome young face. It was a young man about the same age as her. Xiaolin looked at the young man's eyes in a daze. From those crystal clear eyes, she could feel traces of scorching heat and even deeper coldness that had yet to fade away. Swoosh! In an instant, Xiaolin's mental perception was like a startled tentacle that suddenly retracted and wrapped around her tightly. This was an almost instinctual reaction, just like how one would immediately retract their hand after being burned by fire, or how animals would instinctively run away when they sensed danger. Bam! Shailen quickly retreated into the small door that she had just walked out of and slammed the exit door shut. She leaned against the door tightly as her full chest heaved up and down violently. Her heart was beating wildly. At this moment, there was only one thought left in Shailen's mind. That person was so scary. Author's Notes Actually, I don't really want to explain the problem with this setting because I've already tried my best to write it clearly in the book. However, since it's a free period, I'll say more. The difference between strength, speed and defense is actually very easy to understand. The fastest person in the world is about 1.5 times faster than a normal adult male, while the strongest person in the world is more than 5 times stronger than a normal adult male. What does this mean? This means that the difficulty of training strength is much lower than training speed and defense. Moreover, in this book, the bonus of health points to a martial artist is more on strength. The combat power index in the book also measures the explosive power of a punch. It's not that the strength type talent can't grow, but after the strength talent grows, it will be overshadowed by the increase in BQV aka health points. Therefore, in the later stages, the bonus to a martial artist's overall strength is not as obvious as defense and speed. Even in many games, if you only focus on strength, in the later stages, you will definitely be trash. Instead, if you focus on agility, health and defense, you will be able to do well in the later stages. At least that's what I think, haha. <laughs> that's about it, if you really can't accept it, then there's nothing you can do. Chapter 57 He was very powerful, I couldn't hold back. Do you know what's going on inside? When Dong Kingsu and Qin Shaijun arrived at the entrance of Passageway 12, it was already surrounded by the soldiers of the training camp. A square-faced middle-aged man in military uniform walked quickly to Dong Kingsu and reported in a low voice, the surveillance cameras near the entrance have been destroyed. We don't know what's going on inside yet. What about the supervisors inside? We lost contact three minutes ago. We were about to report this to our superiors. Dong Kingsu's face was expressionless. She said calmly, give me a copy of the information of all the students who entered Passageway 12. Immediately. Yes, sir. Soon, the square-faced middle-aged man brought a stack of information to Dong Kingsu. However, strangely, Dong Kingsu shook her head. Forget it, there's no need. The square-faced man was stunned. He did not understand the reason. At this moment, a muffled sound came from the small door at the entrance of Passageway 12 not far away. Bang! This loud sound seemed to have struck the hearts of everyone present. The square-faced man and his subordinates instantly became nervous. The soldiers immediately readied themselves for battle. They were just waiting for their commander's order to immediately pounce on the person who walked out of the door and subdue him. Or they would be subdued. Compared to the nervousness and seriousness of her subordinates, Dong Kingsu's expression was a little strange. Her eyes narrowed slightly as she stared at the small door. Her eyes shone with strange light, as if she was trying to see through the small door to see what was going on inside. Just as everyone was waiting for the battle to begin. Creak. The door opened. It was the passage on the side. A girl with an indifferent expression walked out of the door. Seeing such a large formation outside the door, although it was not targeted at her, the girl was obviously stunned. The soldiers glanced at the girl and immediately looked away. They continued to focus on the small door in front of them. Finally. 
the small door that belonged to passageway 12 was slowly pushed open from the inside. The sunlight cast on a silhouette. A figure slowly peeked from the darkness. Everyone's nerves began to tense. However, when they saw the figure's face clearly, they relaxed, instantly. The person who walked out of the door was a young man. He was just a kid who wasn't very old. He was handsome and had clear eyes. He had a clean look to him. To think that they were so nervous just now. Some of them even revealed self-depreciating smiles when they thought of how they were facing a great enemy just now. But in the next moment, the smiles on their faces froze. It was as if they had seen something extremely terrifying. Their eyes widened, and their pupils gradually revealed an extremely shocked and fearful expression. The young man walked out of the darkness. He raised a hand in front of his forehead as if to block the sun. The other hand seemed to be dragging something heavy. Shh A body covered in dust and blood was dragged out of the tunnel by the young man with one hand, casually throwing it on the ground that was bathed in sunlight. Bang! The body fell to the ground, revealing the face of an unconscious man. A soldier recognized this face and stammered, It's... It's the missing Lieutenant Wang. He was an officer in the base, and many people knew him. He was a level 3 martial artist with decent strength. This time, he was in charge of overseeing Passageway 12. But now, this young Marshal Dao powerhouse was dragged and thrown on the ground like a dead dog. Everyone was stunned. They stared blankly at the handsome young man who stood under the sun, his appearance as clean and clear as crystal. For a moment, they seemed to be in a daze. Bang! A door slammed shut. The small door at the side of the tunnel was slammed shut, and the girl who was standing there just now was nowhere to be seen. Everyone was stunned, and their minds could not process what had just happened. Only Dong Kingxiu's expression remained the same. However, Dong Kingxiu had to admit it. Even though she had already used her spiritual power to scan the tunnel, yet she was still shocked when she saw it with her own eyes. Even Qin Shijun, who was standing at the side, was stunned. As if noticing everyone's strange expressions, the young man was silent for a moment before he tried to explain. He was very powerful. I couldn't hold back. Silence. The place fell into an eerie silence. There was the sound of someone gulping. A moment later, Dong Qingxiu's voice was heard. Student L. Yusheng from Beihe City. Congratulations on passing the entrance examination. L. Yu Sheng was led by a soldier to the camp to rest. L. Yu Sheng's expression was calm, but some emotions were slowly surging in his heart. He finally realized that he seemed to have misunderstood the content of the test this time. The level 3 martial artist who had suddenly rushed out did not seem to be part of this test. In other words, he had hit the wrong person. L. Yu Sheng felt helpless. Who asked the other party to hide in the tunnel sneakily and rush out in a hurry? It was normal for him to misunderstand. Fortunately, even though he had hit the wrong person, he still managed to beat up the examiner by accident. At least he had successfully passed this exam. Originally, L. Yu Sheng came to this prodigy training camp with a relatively casual attitude, but now, L. Yu Sheng was starting to become interested. He had sensed it earlier. He had sensed two spiritual masters, who had similar perception techniques, in this training camp. Chapter 58 Shadow of the Devil One of them was a girl about his age. She should be a trainee in this training camp. The other one was the highest ranking commanding officer in this training camp. Dong Kingxiu was a lieutenant colonel in the Eastern Military Region. That was the information L. Yu Sheng had just received. When L. Yu Sheng walked out of Passageway 12, both of them released their spiritual power to probe him. The girl's spiritual power was very weak. It was probably not even one tenth of L. Yu Sheng's. Dong Kingxiu's spiritual power was much stronger. It was at least five times stronger than L. Yu Sheng's. L. Yu Sheng was very careful. When he sensed that a spiritual power was probing him, he immediately retracted his perception, so he shouldn't have been discovered. 
it was not a good or bad thing to be discovered. It was just an instinctive reaction. There are even spiritual masters. It seems that this training camp is not completely filled with ordinary people. L. Yu Sheng thought to himself. Yes, for example, Lin Sheyu and the others in Qing Yuan City had been classified as ordinary people by L. Yu Sheng. He wondered how these self proclaimed geniuses would feel if they found out that they had been categorized as ordinary. The soldier in military uniform led L. Yu Sheng to a dormitory. He gave him a few simple instructions and left. The soldier looked at L. Yu Sheng strangely the entire time. More than ten minutes ago, it was this seemingly harmless high school student who had beaten his superior up and dragged him out of the passage like a dead dog. L. Yu Sheng walked into the dormitory. The training camp's living conditions were better than he had expected. All the furniture and appliances were available. There was also a separate bathroom and toilet. There was even a small BQV testing device in the corner of the room. It allowed the trainees to know their vitality, vitality or chi, at any time. Most importantly, this was a single-person dormitory. In other words, L. Yu Sheng did not have to worry about being discovered and influenced by others when he practiced the stellar body refining technique in the dormitory. I haven't tested my BQV in a long time. Let's test it first. Ever since the official martial artist assessment, L. Yu Sheng had not tested his BQV. It had been almost two weeks, and he was also very curious about his current numbers. He took his blood and tested it. With a pleasant beep, a number appeared before L. Yu Sheng's eyes. 53.692. Compared to the last time, it had increased by 38 points. After a few breakthroughs in my BQV, Coupled with the continuous consumption of spiritual muscle and blood strengthening decoction and marrow nourishing pills, it's normal for me to have such an increase in my BQV. At this rate, I estimate that in another month, I will be able to break through level 3 and officially enter the stage of refining my muscles and bones. L. Yu Sheng was filled with satisfaction. This process of his BQV increasing step by step and his ability becoming stronger made him feel very fulfilled and satisfied. In the control room of the training camp. On the ground in the center of the room, there were many broken mechanical puppets. These mechanical puppets were all badly damaged, either missing an arm, a leg, or a head. Many parts of their bodies showed signs of being squeezed, crushed, and twisted. They were like rag dolls that had been ravaged by giants. It gave people a fierce shock. Dong Kingsu and Qin Shaijun were standing in the room but their attention was not on the puppets. Instead, they were staring at the big screen in front of them. On the big screen, the closed-circuit surveillance footage of Passageway 12 was being played. It started with L. Yu Sheng and the youths from Qing Yuan City entering the passage and ending with them walking out of the passage. When the entire video was played, Dong Kingsu and Qin Shaijun's faces were filled with shock. Extreme shock. The level 2 mechanical puppets are like toys in his hands. That first lieutenant with the ability of a level 3 martial artist didn't last more than a minute against him. Qin Shaijun looked at Dong Kingsu in shock and said, This kid is a monster, a monster in actual combat. His combat power is off the charts. It's not just 15,000, it's probably 100,000. He's comparable to a level 4 martial artist. Didn't the data say that this kid's BQV is only 15? How would I know? Does he look like he has a BQV of 15 now? Dong Kingsu's expression was just as complicated. Either, he deliberately hid part of his ability during the martial artist assessment two weeks ago. Or, Dong Kingsu paused and thought about it. In two weeks, his BQV had increased from 15 to almost comparable to a level 4 martial artist. Such a terrifying growth rate could only mean that. He might very well become the second Xiang Peng. Qin Shaijun was stunned. He could not help but recall the fear of being dominated by a certain man when he first joined the training camp. That kind of absolute superiority in strength brought a suffocating pressure to the bystanders. Qin Shaijun remembered that he had nightmares for a few weeks after returning from the training camp. It was terrifying. Back then, 
Xiang Peng was simply the overlord of their training camp. Everyone had to look up to him, and he was the great devil that everyone wanted to challenge. Now, Qin Shaijun could vaguely see the shadow of the devil in the student named L. Yu Sheng on the screen. Oh no, L. Yu Sheng was even crazier than the devil back then. Even Xiang Peng back then could not squash a level 2 mechanical puppet as if it were a mere chicken. So, what are you going to do with this L. Yu Sheng now? Qin Shaijun could not help but ask. Dong Qingxiu's eyes flashed as she replied, I haven't thought about it yet, but I'm sure my previous judgment of L. Yu Sheng was wrong. For the time being, let's train him as the top seed, like Xiao Lin. After all, Dong Qingxiu looked at the tall and lean figure on the screen. She took a deep breath and said slowly, talent ability aside. What he's shown so far is already shocking enough. Qin Shaijun understood what Dong Qingxiu meant. Based on L. Yu Sheng's previous information, he was 17 years old, a level 2 martial artist, a strength type martial artist. Perhaps in the eyes of ordinary people, this was already a terrifying number. However, for Qin Shaijun and Dong Qingxiu who had seen too many geniuses, it was not considered outstanding. There was even a high chance that he would fade into the crowd in the future. Xiang Peng was the best example. However, if this resume was added with prefixes such as perfect level fist technique, combat power comparable to a level 4 martial artist, and easily crushing an official level 3 martial artist in actual combat, then, it would be different. Combat power and combat ability were two completely different concepts. Being able to get a combat power index in the tens of thousands during the test did not mean that one could unleash this combat power in battle. Yet, L. Yu Sheng had done it. He was far beyond that. That alone was terrifying. In Qin Shaijun's words, he was, a combat monster. A combat genius. A natural, martial artist. Even if the current L. Yu Sheng was not a talented martial artist and did not have any talent ability, this alone was enough to greatly increase his rating in Dong Qingxiu's mind. Chapter 59 Purple Hair Band It's time to eat. L. Yu Sheng opened his eyes. He had just gnawed on a few tough bones in his dream when he was woken up by the soldiers of the training camp, informing him that he could go to the mess to eat. L. Yu Sheng looked at the time. It was already evening, and he was indeed hungry. Following the map of the training camp on the table, L. Yu Sheng found the mess. The mess was huge and divided into three floors. The trainees ate on the first floor. Walking into the mess, L. Yu Sheng saw boys and girls of his age. They were obviously trainees participating in the training camp. L. Yu Sheng even saw the group of people from Qing Yuan City, including Lin Sheyu. His head was wrapped in bandages, and he was lining up with the help of two people with a pale face. Many trainees in the mess had obvious bandages on their bodies, and they looked a little pathetic. It seems that although there is an entrance examination, regardless of whether one passes the test or not, they are still qualified to stay. L. Yu Sheng thought to himself. L. Yu Sheng found a random window to get food and lined up silently. The trainees in front of him were from an unknown city in the Dongning province, and they were still discussing the test in the morning. Those mechanical puppets are too ferocious. I was just carelessly grazed by one of them, and my back still hurts even now. You think? After all, they are level 2 mechanical puppets. Even a level 3 martial artist might not be able to defeat them head on. We are lucky that we were not killed or crippled. How could we be killed or crippled? There are examiners here. But I have to say, this test is too crazy. Don't say that. I heard that someone beat up an examiner this year. Heard he's still unconscious in the infirmary. Are you for real? The examiners have to be at least level 3 martial artists, or they can't protect us from the level 2 mechanical puppets. Someone can beat the examiners. Don't listen to his nonsense. I also heard that the mechanical puppets in one of the test passageways were all destroyed. Someone saw the base soldiers loading the broken level 2 mechanical puppets into trucks. 
that's too exaggerated. It must be fake. Liu Sheng stayed in the group and remained silent. He now realized how much he had messed up during the day. Finally, it was Liu Sheng's turn. The food in the training camp was surprisingly good. There were more than 30 types of meat dishes, most of which were meat that Liu Sheng had never seen before. Moreover, he could eat them indefinitely, which was most suitable for a glutton like him. Liu Sheng casually ordered five servings of food and looked for a place to settle down with the plate in his hand. Perhaps it was because the scale of the dishes in his hands was too exaggerated, it attracted the attention of many people. Many people cast sidelong glances at him. The group of people from Qingyuan City also noticed his presence. In the end, each one of them acted as if they had seen a ghost. They turned around and ran. Some of them didn't even bother to get their meals and directly ran towards the entrance of the mess. It could be seen that Liu Sheng had left too much psychological trauma on them during the day in the passage. Just as Liu Sheng was about to find a place to sit down, someone quickly walked towards him. Liu Sheng, right. She was a tall and beautiful girl. I'm also a student from Beihe City who is participating in the training camp. If you don't mind, let's sit down and eat together. The girl reached out and brushed the hair on her temples looking a little embarrassed. Liu Sheng was hesitating whether to accept this sudden invitation. The girl quickly continued, Actually, we've met before. It was at the Beihe Martial Arts Association when we participated in the official martial artist assessment. Do you remember? Liu Sheng was stunned for a moment before he recalled the girl's identity. You're that, Liu Sheng thought for a moment and said with certainty, Purple hairband. The girl smiled and nodded. My name is Yang Yuan. When he participated in the assessment at the Beihe Martial Arts Association, this girl was the same as Liu Sheng. She was the youngest among all the candidates. The two of them had even shared a quick glances at each other a few times, so he had an impression of her. However, she didn't wear the purple hairband today. Instead, she wore a pink one. Speaking of which, we're actually quite fated. I know your sister, Liu King He. King He often talks about you to me, Yang Yuan blushed a little when she said that. She had always been regarded as a cold goddess in school. She didn't expect that there would be a time when she used her connections to get close to a boy. He he, is that so? Liu Sheng smiled and didn't expose Yang Yuan's lie. How could his sister, Liu King He? often talk about him in front of others. She was embarrassed of him. However, Liu Sheng remembered that Liu King He did mention Yang Yuan's existence. Previously, when he met Liu King He and her two best friends at the Martial Arts Association, the three girls seemed to have gone to accompany Yang Yuan. Since they were all acquaintances, Liu Sheng readily agreed. Sure, where do you want to sit? Yang Yuan's eyes lit up. She eagerly led Liu Sheng the way. Over here, the few of us from Beihe City are sitting together. Yang Yuan led Liu Sheng to a long table and sat down. There were seven or eight boys and girls sitting at the long table. These people were all looking at Liu Sheng with curious gazes. During the period before they came to the training camp, the biggest news in Beihe City was this young man who was about the same age as them standing in front of them. It was no exaggeration to say that Liu Sheng was the celebrity among the high school students in Beihe City. Liu Sheng smiled at this group of people, then buried his head and started eating. He wasn't good at socializing, and he disdained to do so. After silently watching Liu Sheng eat for a while, Yang Yuan, who had been deliberating for a long time, finally broke the awkwardness. Liu Sheng do you know anything about this prodigy training camp? Chapter 60 Liu Sheng would fade into the crowd. Nope. Liu Sheng picked up a piece of pink meat and stuffed it into his mouth without looking up. He did not know what kind of meat it was, but the texture was much firmer than he had imagined, and it tasted quite good. Yang Yuan's mind was not on the food at all. I know a little about it. Do you want to know? Silence. 
Yang Yuan stared at L. Yu Shang for a while, hoping that L. Yu Shang would react. However, L. Yu Shang only buried his head in his food, which made her feel rather awkward. She did not know if she should continue. Fortunately, L. Yu Shang quickly realized this. He nodded symbolically and said, Go on. As he spoke, he picked up a piece of rib from an unknown animal and took a big bite. It was delicious. Yang Yuan breathed a sigh of relief and quickly said, The prodigy training camp this time is jointly organized by the Dongning Department of Education, the Martial Arts Association, and the Eastern Military Region. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Kingsu of the Eastern Military Region is the person in charge of this training camp. It is said that Dong Kingsu is from the Dong family. Yang Yuan spoke for a while and realized that L. Yu Sheng was not interested in this at all. She quickly changed the topic and continued, I've asked the seniors who participated in the training camp in the last few batches. I learned from them that the most difficult part of this training camp is not how to get in, but how to stay. What do you mean? L. Yu Sheng's interest was finally piqued. He slowed down eating a little. Yang Yuan saw that L. Yu Sheng was finally interested in her topic. She straightened her back and continued, What I mean is, there are conditions for people like us to stay in this training camp. What conditions? L. Yu Sheng asked. Yang Yuan replied, It's something like points. According to the seniors from the previous batch, we have to spend a certain amount of points every day in the training camp. For example, we have to pay for lodging, food and ask the teachers in the training camp for questions. There are conditions for her food. L. Yu Sheng frowned. Yes. Yang Yuan replied bitterly, Do you think we're eating ordinary food now? Most of this meat are from exotic beasts. After special processing, it's cooked into food that helps us martial artists cultivate. Long-term consumption is good for martial artists to increase their vitality. BQV. It can also strengthen their physique in all aspects without developing resistance to supplements. However, they are ridiculously expensive. For example, the rank 2 black toothed sword pork that you are eating right now, in the outside world, a single serving would cost at least 10,000 yuan. Moreover, that's only the price for the dishes that haven't been processed and cooked. If it was properly prepared and cooked, the price could reach more than 50,000 yuan. If it wasn't for the training camp, how could someone from an average family afford to eat it every day? Unless your father is the richest man in Beihe City. Not to mention that a lot of the meat can't even be bought outside, it's all specially supplied by the military. I see, L. Yu Sheng looked at the piece of meat in his hand and was rather surprised. He didn't expect such a piece of meat to be so expensive. In other words, he had eaten at least a hundred to two hundred thousand yuan worth of meat for his meal. Originally, he had thought that he was quite rich after receiving the one million yuan prize from the Beihe Martial Arts Association. Only now did he realize that he didn't even have enough to eat and wear. Other than that, there are many special training rooms in the training camp that are very helpful for martial arts training. They are also very difficult to use outside, or rather, one has to pay a huge price to use them. Yang Yuan said with a worried expression. It could be said that the longer you stay in this training camp, the more benefits you will gain. And the condition for staying was points. Earning points is very difficult. How difficult is it? L. Yu Sheng felt a little full. The exotic beast meat was indeed full of energy. One gram was equivalent to a few pounds of ordinary beef and mutton. But when he thought of the frightening price of the meat, he still insisted on eating. Very, very difficult, Yang Yuan smiled bitterly. Let's put it this way. So far, there are only three people in the training camp with points. The others are still at zero for the time being. In other words, if we don't earn a certain amount of points soon, we will be kicked out tomorrow. Which three? How did they get their points? L. Yu Sheng couldn't help but be curious. Yang Yuan explained, it's the entrance examination today. Those who clear the exams will be rewarded with points. And I heard that only three people cleared the exam. 
One is Cao Yang from Yanglin City, a level 2 martial artist with stone skin constitution that can greatly increase his defense. He cleared the examination. The other is Meng Jinhe from Donggang City, also a level 2 martial artist with a speed type talent. He also cleared it. And the last one. Hey, it's her, Yang Yuan suddenly looked in a direction. L. Yu Sheng followed Yang Yuan's gaze and saw a girl with a cold temperament walking into the mess area with a bowl of rice. It's her. L. Yu Sheng was a little surprised. He remembered this girl. When he came out of the passageway, it was this girl who used her spiritual power to detect him. Then, she was frightened by him and hid in the passage in fear. As if sensing L. Yu Sheng's gaze, the girl looked at him. The moment she saw L. Yu Sheng, the girl was stunned. Her face suddenly turned pale, and then she turned around and walked away without hesitation. Her footsteps were fast and unfaltering. You know her? Indeed, it's normal for you to know her. Many people know her. Although Xiaolin, from Baoding City, is not a level 2 martial artist, she is indeed a spiritual master who is rarer than gifted martial artists. She should be the most talented and the strongest in this training camp. I heard that the training camp's higher UPS have been paying attention to her for a long time. Only three people cleared the exam. It was simply too difficult, even more difficult than the previous one. Didn't you see Xiaolin's face after she cleared the examination? She even left in such a hurry. I guess she was also tortured during the exam. L. Yu Sheng was speechless. Yang Yuan's expression was full of emotion. Before entering the training camp, she had thought that her martial arts talent was not bad and could be considered as genius. But after entering, she knew what a real genius was. A monster. A demon. She had been a little complacent when she passed the level 1 martial artist assessment some time ago. But after entering the training camp, she realized that there were level 1 martial artists around her age everywhere. There were even level 2 martial artists who had awakened their talents. Above the gifted martial artists, those who have special talents, there were even more rare and powerful spiritual masters. Each one was stronger than the next. Even if it was L. Yu Sheng. Yang Yuan could not help but think to herself as she looked at the genius in front of her who had once shocked the entire Beihe city. Even if it was L. Yu Sheng, he too would soon fade into the crowd. Chapter 61 The Rumored Fourth Person Normal geniuses aren't much. Only geniuses who have awakened their talents are considered true geniuses. Even if they are gifted martial artists, most of them did not pass the assessment. There are only three of them. It is said that there is another person who cleared it, but I'm guessing that it is fake, Yang Yuan jabbered on and on. L. Yu Sheng casually asked her, why do you say that the rumored fourth person is fake? Yang Yuan laughed, because the fourth person is too exaggerated. Some people said that the fourth person who cleared the assessment was terrifyingly strong. Not only did he destroy a bunch of level 2 mechanical puppets, he even beat up the examiner in the passageway. How is that possible? The examiner is a genuine level 3 martial artist. Moreover, he is someone who is outstanding in all aspects. If you want to beat the examiner, you need to be at least a level 4 martial artist. And becoming a level 4 martial artist at our age. Yang Yuan shook her head and concluded, it all sounds made up. Bunch of nonsense. L. Yu Sheng did not say anything and just continued to eat silently. Suddenly, Yang Yuan thought of something and could not hold back her curiosity. She asked L. Yu Sheng, Oh right, L. Yu Sheng, you are the strongest among us. You are a level 2 martial artist and you are also a gifted martial artist. Did you clear the assessment? When Yang Yuan asked this question, the students Beihe City sitting nearby all turned their heads to look at them. Although they did not join in the conversation, they were actually keenly listening to them. Now that it involved the question they were most curious about, they naturally could not help but turn their heads. Uh, L. Yu Sheng stopped what he was doing and did not know how to answer. He wanted to say that he was the person Yang Yuan was talking about, 
but they might not believe him. It did not seem good to not tell the truth. When they saw El Yusheng's hesitant expression, Yang Yuan and others had a change in thought. They concluded that he probably did not clear it, and he was embarrassed to answer. Actually, it was normal. The more talented a person was, the more arrogant they would be. After realizing that they were not as good as others, they would feel even more disappointed. Yang Yuan was already like this, let alone El Yusheng, who was much more talented than her, a martial arts genius known by everyone in Beihe City, and a celebrity. Thinking of this, Yang Yuan quickly comforted him, actually, it's normal that you didn't clear it. The assessment is so crazy. How could ordinary people clear? Just as they were talking, a man who looked like an officer suddenly walked into the mess with a few soldiers. After looking around, he walked straight towards El Yu Sheng. Everyone looked at them curiously, not knowing what they were here for. I believe in your strength. If you stay in the training camp for a while, you might not be any weaker than Cao Yang and the others, Yang Yuan was painstakingly comforting El Yu Sheng completely unaware that a few people had already walked up to her. A girl sitting next to Yang Yuan couldn't help but tug at her sleeve. Yang Yuan seemed to have woken up from a dream. She raised her head and saw several military uniforms facing her. Yang Yuan was a little confused. However, these people were obviously not here for her. The leading officer faced El Yu Sheng, who had been silently accepting Yang Yuan's comfort and said with a serious expression, Student El Yu Sheng, right? Due to the fact that you destroyed 18 level 2 mechanical puppets in our base during the camp entrance examination, and also injured a first lieutenant to the point of being unconscious and hospitalized him, we're going to have to ask you some routine questions. Please cooperate with us. Please follow us. The commanding officer's deep voice echoed in the huge mess hall. The originally noisy mess instantly quieted down. It fell into a strange silence. The students who were eating all froze. Their expressions froze, and their bodies froze. Some of them even maintained the posture of eating with their mouths wide open. Now, all of them were frozen. Each one of them seemed to have been hit by a body immobilization spell. As for Yang Yuan and the other Beihe City students who were sitting opposite El Yu Sheng, their expressions were even more exaggerated. Yang Yuan's face was blank as she stood rooted to the ground. It was as if 10,000 planes had flown past her mind. Destroyed 18 level 2 mechanical puppets. Injured a first lieutenant to the point of being unconscious and hospitalized. The rumors were true. The fourth person in the rumors that she had judged to be nonsense really existed. And it was El Yu Sheng. Then why did she keep comforting El Yu Sheng? Yang Yuan was completely dumbfounded. She didn't know what words to use to describe her current feelings. She only felt like she was dreaming. Everything that had just happened felt surreal. Okay. El Yu Sheng stood up straightforwardly. He lowered his head and looked at the plate on the table. He said, But I'm not full yet. Can you let me pack another portion? Sure. The commanding officer nodded and agreed. We'll get someone to pack another portion for you and send it to your dorm. Then let's go. El Yu Sheng nodded in satisfaction. Then, he nodded and greeted the petrified Beihe City students before following the commanding officer out of the canteen. After El Yu Sheng and the others left the canteen, the spell seemed to have been lifted. The quiet canteen was instantly filled with intense exclamations and discussions. Fuck. Fuck. The rumors were actually true. Someone really destroyed more than ten mechanical puppets, and even sent the examiner to the hospital. The rumored fourth person, Beihe City's El Yu Sheng. Hiss. What a monster. Simply perverse. As for Yang Yuan and the other Beihe City students, they were so shocked that they couldn't utter a single word. Chapter 62 Don't Come Over It was not as troublesome as El Yu Sheng had imagined. Routine questions were just that. Questions The people in the base asked El Yu Sheng a few questions about what happened during the assessment and then let him go. 
They did not ask him to compensate for the broken puppets, nor did they ask him to take responsibility for the unconscious examiner. L. Yu Shang returned to his dorm and there was a set of packed food on the table. It was almost all meat dishes, and they were all exotic beast meat. To avoid wasting food, L. Yu Shang immediately used the stellar body refinement technique. With the double boost of the stellar body refinement technique and natural breathing technique, L. Yu Shang digested all the exotic beast meat in his stomach. The energy in the meat turned into a stream of heat and was quickly absorbed by L. Yu Shang. It almost has the same effect as taking a marrow nourishing pill, L. Yu Shang was quite satisfied with the energy provided by the exotic beast meat. He was originally worried that after staying in the training camp for so long, he would not have a place to replenish his marrow nourishing pills. But now, he did not have to worry about that anymore. The large amount of exotic beast meat served to make up for this weakness perfectly. L. Yu Sheng was slightly satisfied when he felt his BQV increasing again. He also finished the packed food. Not long after he finished eating, another soldier came. Gather at the base's great hall at 8 o'clock. It was almost 8 o'clock. L. Yu Sheng packed up a little and followed the soldier to the Great Hall. Just a few seconds after he stepped through the door, the Great Hall, which was originally noisy, suddenly became silent. Hundreds of pairs of eyes looked at him at the same time. Shock, surprise, awe, curiosity, doubt. Gazes filled with all kinds of emotions surrounded him. What happened in the mess hall at night had already spread among the students. L. Yu Sheng of Beihe City, the legendary fourth person to pass the assessment. A peerless monster who destroyed 18 level 2 mechanical puppets with his bare fists and even sent an official level 3 martial artist examiner to the ICU ward. Demon, monster, pervert. Under the influence of all kinds of rumors, L. Yu Sheng had become a scourge in the eyes of some students. So even if he was lean, handsome, and walked in quietly, Many people retreated as if they had seen a ghost. L. Yu Sheng walked towards the seats in the hall, and the students who had been sitting there immediately stood up and scrambled to hide from him. If one were to look down from above, it would feel as if L. Yu Sheng carried some kind of invisible force field with him. Wherever he passed, the crowd retreated. L. Yu Sheng casually found a seat and sat down. After sitting down, he was surprised to find that not everyone had run away. There was still one person who hadn't moved, sitting right next to L. Yu Sheng. And L. Yu Sheng just so happened to know this person, it was the girl, the potential spiritual master, called Xiaolin. This was the first time he was in such proximity to Xiaolin. L. Yu Sheng was surprised to find that this girl was quite pretty. Yang Yuan's appearance was outstanding enough, but Xiaolin's facial features were even more exquisite than hers and her temperament was also very special. She was gentle and quiet, just like a top student in class. However, she seemed to be a little cold and her body was trembling slightly. Perhaps, the aid conditioner to be too cold for her. L. Yu Sheng thought. As expected of Xiaolin, the only spiritual master in our batch. She actually dares to sit so close to that monster, L. Yu Sheng. Geniuses are always proud, let alone a genius like Xiaolin. Although L. Yu Sheng is abnormal, I dare to bet that Xiaolin isn't afraid of him at all. Indeed. Xiaolin sat in her seat, trembling. She was terrified. That person. That terrifying guy. At this moment, he was sitting right next to her, less than three meters away from her. Xiaolin could almost hear his breathing. Hearing the exclamations and discussions of the crowd behind her, Xiaolin wanted to cry, but had no tears. What pride of a genius, pride, my ass. It wasn't that she didn't want to run or change seats, but her legs were weak, and she couldn't stand up at all. Ever since her experience at the entrance during the day, Xiaolin would occasionally recall the pair of ice-cold eyes, that side profile hidden in the darkness, and that pitiful young man who was lying on the ground like a corpse while being dragged by one of his legs. It was too scary. It was like a nightmare that she couldn't get rid of. Every time she thought of it, she would break out in cold sweat. 
Xiaolin couldn't control her body, her spirit curled up in her mind and trembled uncontrollably. Don't come over. Don't come over. Xiaolin shouted in her mind. L. Yu Sheng, is it? Four or five rows behind L. Yu Sheng. A dark-skinned young man with a vicious look on his face stared at L. Yu Sheng's back. A strength-type martial artist, the early stage is indeed shocking. I wonder if your fist can penetrate my stone skin, you're welcome to try, haha, <laughs> the young man's eyes were burning with a crazy passion, his fighting spirit blazing. On the other side behind L. Yu Sheng, a handsome young man with an elegant hairstyle was also looking at L. Yu Sheng. Beside him, a dozen young men surrounded him like stars studying the moon. Jin He, this L. Yu Sheng is so arrogant, occupying so many seats by himself. But his strength is really terrifying, I don't know if it's true or not, he beat a total of 18 level 2 mechanical puppets and a level 3 martial artist examiner. Yet, hearing the exclamations of the people around him, the handsome young man sneered and said, You're only fit to believe in those half baked rumors. Who know what reality lies behind them? This L. Yu Sheng has the strength, but his upper limit is just like that. A strength type martial artist is basically like this, in the beginning, they are fierce and have all kinds of exaggerated achievements. But in fact, they have capped potential, by the time they get to higher level, they just become lackluster and fade out. The higher they climb, the more mundane they become. But aren't we in the early stages as well? Won't we have to concede to him now? A young man said unwillingly. The handsome young man said faintly, not necessarily, after entering this training camp, we'll see rapid improvements. It's a competition of potential. My potential is definitely stronger than his, plus I'm a speed type martial artist, my advantage is very obvious. No matter how strong he is, he has to be able to keep up with my movements and speed first. Do you think that every battle will be in a narrow and claustrophobic environment like the assessment tunnel, hee <laughs> hee. During the assessment, I didn't even use my advantage in speed. The handsome young man smiled, his face was full of calm confidence. Chapter 63 The Mentality of the Strong, The Law of Survival That should be C.A.O. Yang, then this must be Meng Jin He his spiritual power spread out slightly, and the entire hall was in his sight. He could also see the expressions of the people behind him clearly. Among them, there were two particularly hostile gazes that caught L. Yu Sheng's attention. Of course, only a little attention. He didn't take it to heart at all. These two were just level 2 martial artists. If it were two weeks ago, L. Yu Sheng might have taken a second look at them. But now, What's there to pay attention to when they can be killed with a casual pinch? As I kill more and more zombies in the dream world, with the zombies are that keep getting stronger and stronger. I seem to have become more and more violent. He was not like this in the past. Just like in the assessment passageway, he was not satisfied with beating the puppets, so he beat up the examiner. If it were in the past, he would have thought about it and then guessed the identity of the other party. This unnecessary battle would not have happened. L. Yu Sheng pondered for a moment. He soon found the reason. A change in mentality. As his strength continued to grow, his original mentality was also quietly undergoing changes. He became stronger, so he was too lazy to consider and wait behind many things. He found everything getting much simpler when he simply used strength to resolve things. Only the weak need to use wisdom to achieve their goals, while the strong need only their fists. It was like there was a stone in the middle of the road. People with weak strength would think about how to move the stone away or take a detour. But the strong would not think so much. They would just kick it away. This was the mentality of the strong. L. Yu Sheng was surprised to find that, in a trance, he had grown to such a height. He was a completely different person from the muddle-headed and submissive young man. As he was thinking, two people walked in from outside the hall. It was a man and a woman, both wearing dark blue military uniforms. L. Yu Sheng noticed the epaulets on their shoulders, which were the epaulets only officers were qualified to wear. 
and to be qualified to obtain such a rank in a military region, one must be at least level 5 martial artist. He clearly remembered his previous life experience. Even if he had a lot of military achievements, he was still a lieutenant when he died. Because he was only a level 4 martial artist at the time. This man and woman were both quite good looking, and their bodies were filled with powerful auras. After the two of them entered, the noisy hall quickly quieted down. I'm the chief instructor of the Dongning Provincial Capital's prodigy training camp, Dong Kingxiu. This is the deputy chief instructor, Major Qin Shaijun. The woman went straight to the point and introduced herself. L. Yu Sheng had seen both of them once, when he had just finished his entrance examination. The beautiful Dong Kingxiu said coldly, In the coming days, the two of us will be in charge of your training. Next, I'll briefly explain the rules of this training camp. First, we will not interfere with your training and day-to-day -day life. You are all top martial arts geniuses in your respective cities, and I believe that everyone should have a set of cultivation methods that are most suitable for you, as well as your daily routines. There won't be any classes in this training camp. You'll have to rely on yourselves to cultivate. To put it bluntly, we won't care even if you guys sleep in the dorm every day. L. Yu Sheng's expression became a little strange hearing that. Although he knew it was impossible, he still felt that this sentence was directed at him. The first rule caused an uproar among the students. Many people began discussing it vehemently. No classes? Then what are we here for? To waste our time. Fuck. Might as well stay at home. At least you'll have a tutor to guide you one on one. How can this be? Dong Kingxiu coldly interrupted everyone's discussion. It's not too late to leave now. The discussion stopped. Although there were many opinions, everyone had racked their brains to get here. How could they bear to leave? Then I'll continue. Dong Kingxiu continued, Second, you'll have to spend a corresponding amount of points for all your daily needs in the training camp. Every meal you eat, every dorm you stay in, the water you use for bathing, the toilet paper you use. Everything has to be paid for. However, this money will be replaced by points. To put it simply, in the training camp, you'll need points for everything you need, and points can be exchanged for everything. Even. Dong Kingxiu paused for a moment, then swept her cold gaze across everyone in the hall. She enunciated each word clearly, if you don't like someone in the training camp and fight with them in private, and accidentally kill them, you'll have to pay back your points. You can also use points to pay for it. Of course, after you leave the training camp, we won't be responsible if the person's family comes looking for trouble with you. The youths were as silent as cicadas in winter. They were so shocked by Dong Kingxiu's words that they could not utter a single word. Although they were geniuses and official martial artists. However, when the cold word kill was thrown in front of them, they could not help but feel afraid. L. Yu Sheng's eyes lit up bit by bit. A faint smile even appeared at the corner of his lips. Interesting. This training camp is very interesting. In this advanced concrete forest, such a simple and cruel set of laws of the jungle was set up. L. Yu Sheng felt as if he had been thrown into a survival game. The show had just begun. Then how do we get our points? Finally, someone asked. Good question. Dong Kingxiu said calmly, there are many ways to get points. First, you can get the approval of me, Major Qin Shaijun, or any other instructor in the training camp. As long as we think you've done well enough in a certain aspect, we'll give you a certain amount of points based on our mood. Second, you can pass the assessment. We'll assess you from time to time. As long as you pass, you'll get a lot of points. The entrance exam during the day is one of them. Four of you have passed the examination. The points have been given to your respective identity cards, which are your room cards. You can check them when you get back. Third, you can help the base with various internal work. To put it simply, you'll be doing odd jobs. However, 
the points you'll get through this method will be marginal at best. It's far less than the previous two methods. After Dong Kingxiu finished speaking, there was another round of heated discussion below. Finally, I'll explain in detail what you can do with your points. Everyone pricked up their ears. Through Dong Kingxiu's introduction, everyone learned that apart from being able to exchange for various daily necessities like food and resting in dorms, points could also be exchanged for guidance from the base instructors, including the strongest instructors Dong Kingxiu and Qin Shaijun. They could also be exchanged to buy time in some special cultivation rooms in the base. That was what L. Yu Sheng was most interested in. However, Dong Kingxiu only briefly mentioned it in her introduction. He would have to slowly understand it himself. Points could also be exchanged for various privileges. There was no need to mention the privilege to kill. It was too extreme and basically no one would use it. L. Yu Sheng guessed that although Dong Kingxiu had said that before, if he really killed someone in the base, he would still be dealt with the same way when he got out. Also, points could even be exchanged for a guaranteed admission to Dongning University and the Eastern Military University. That was rather exaggerated. It was equivalent to being able to enter a famous university without having to take the college entrance exam. However, on second thought, it was useless. Those who had the ability to obtain these points in the training camp could easily get into the province's university through the college entrance examination. After the introduction, Dong Kingxiu did not waste any time. After announcing the end of her talk, she left with Qin Shaijun. The remaining students began to discuss the few rules that Dong Kingxiu had just mentioned. Most of them were from the same city. L. Yu Sheng saw Yang Yuan and the others from Beihe City consciously moving closer to him. He ignored them and walked out of the hall. Chapter 64, Whetstone Sigh, looking at L. Yu Sheng's back as he left, Yang Yuan could not help but sigh, even though she had already guessed it. This L. Yu Sheng is too arrogant. He doesn't put us in his eyes at all. Someone from Beihe City said angrily. Who told him to be so strong? There's still a reward for passing the assessment. He doesn't have to worry about points in the short term, someone said sourly. No matter how many points he has, there will be a day when they will be used up. No matter how strong he is, he is strong only for now. He's not the only one who passed the assessment. Baoding City's Xiaolin, Yanglin City's Cao Yang, Donggang City's Meng Jin He, which one of them is weaker than him? Even if they are not as strong as him for now, they will catch up sooner or later in the training camp. Everyone has the support of a team while he is alone. When someone comes to find trouble with him, let's see how he will deal with it alone. Maybe he will even beg us for help. Haha, <laughs> what you said makes sense. I'm starting to look forward to L. Yu Sheng's expression at that time. Yang Yuan listened to the discussions going on around her and remained silent. The analysis these people made seemed to make sense, but they had overlooked a very important point. Without the support of someone like Al Yu Sheng in the early stages, this group of geniuses who were at the bottom of their respective cities might not be able to hold on until the day Al Yu Sheng's power declined. He's finally gone. That terrifying guy. Xiaoling let out a long sigh of relief. It was as if a heavy burden had been lifted from her heart. She felt much more relaxed. As long as L. Yu Sheng appeared by her side, Xiaolin would feel uncomfortable all over, as if she couldn't breathe. Now that L. Yu Sheng was gone, she began to slowly return to her original appearance as a genius. The students from Baoding City consciously gathered around her. As the recognized number one genius among them, Xiaolin naturally became the core of the students from Baoding City. Xiaolin was quietly listening to the discussions and analysis of her companions. Suddenly, someone patted her on the shoulder and reminded her. Xiaolin, the chief instructor wants you to look for her after you're done. She has something important to tell you. Uh. Oh, oh, I got it. Xiaolin blinked. She did not know why the chief instructor Dong Kingxiu was suddenly looking for her. The students next to her had a look of envy on their faces. 
he didn't need to guess to know that the chief instructor was looking for Xiaolin for something good. Everyone knew that Xiaolin had a rare and powerful talent as a spiritual master, and chief instructor Dong King Xiu, she was a powerful spiritual master. I reckon that in a day or two, all the odd jobs in the base will be taken care of by these little bastards, Qin Shaijun said to Dong King Xiu as she stood under the street lamp and looked at the brightly lit great hall in the distance. This is also a way to dampen their arrogance and temper their will. It can only be beneficial to them. Dong King Xiu said calmly. After becoming the chief instructor, your words have become more and more powerful, Qin Shaijun sighed. Dong King Xiu rolled her eyes at him in exasperation. Then, with a serious expression, she said, I think I've got it. Got what? I've thought of how to deal with L. Yu Sheng. Oh. Qin Shaijun's eyes lit up. What do you plan to do with him? The appearance of a freak like Al Yusheng was completely out of their expectations. On the one hand, although Al Yusheng's talent was outstanding, his potential was limited. It was not worth the military spending too much effort on him, but it was not good to give up completely. On the other hand, Al Yusheng's was too strong. He was not on the same level as the other students. If he were to compete with this group of people, he would probably not feel any pressure at all. Therefore, the question of how to properly nurture a seedling like Al Yusheng had always been a headache for the two of them. Now that Dong Qingxiu said that she had an idea, Qin Shaijun was naturally curious. A whetstone. Dong Qingxiu's eyes sparkled under the street lamp's light. She said word by word, he's the best whetstone. He can stimulate others to grow faster. Qin Shaijun looked thoughtful. He asked, then have you considered a problem? What if this whetstone is too strong and hard? What if it breaks the blade that it's supposed to sharpen? Which is why he can't just be a whetstone for one person. Dong Qingxiu looked at Qin Shaijun and said confidently, Xiaolin, Cao Yang, Meng Jin He. Three blades together. If that's not enough, we'll add a few more talented martial artists. I don't believe that they won't be able to withstand his pressure. If this plan works well, the results of this year's prodigy training camp might far exceed our expectations. And L. Yu Sheng would also have very likely raised his upper limit. A fierce level 6 martial artist in actual combat is ultimately not as significant as a level 7 master. No matter how weak a master is in actual combat, he can easily defeat 10 peak level 6 martial artists, no matter the latter's strong combat awareness. Qin Shaijun looked thoughtful. I'm going to give Xiaolin basic training as a spirit master tonight. You can focus on Meng Jin He. You two have the same specialization. Dong Qingxiu said. Qin Shaijun nodded. What about Cao Yang and the others? I'll find a way to get Qi Meng's cultivation experience for Cao Yang. I'll even let Qi Meng personally guide him online. As for the other seedlings, Dong Qingxiu thought for a moment and said, Give them more points secretly. Qin Shaijun looked at Dong Qingxiu with a complicated expression and said, I can see that you really want to lead this training camp well. Dong Qingxiu said calmly, Since it's a task assigned to me, I'll naturally do my best. It's not my style to do things half-heartedly. If that's the case, Qin Shaijun seemed to have made a decision. He said seriously, then I won't be a burden to you. From today onward, I'm no longer a slacker. I'll work hard to be the best martial arts instructor. Dong Qingxiu smiled and said with relief, if you had this kind of awareness earlier, your progress in martial arts would definitely be. Before she could finish, she saw Qin Shaijun frown and think carefully. Then, he shook his head and said, Forget it. I'm a little tired because of L. Yu Sheng today. I'll stop being a slacker from tomorrow onward. I'll go back to sleep first. The smile on Dong Qingxiu's face instantly froze. After L. Yu Sheng returned to the dormitory, the first thing he did was check the points Dong Qingxiu had mentioned at the assembly. So many. L. Yu Sheng was a little surprised when he saw the results. There were a total of 1,000 points. 
he did not know how many points the other three people who passed the entrance exam had received, but this number was quite a lot. After the assembly, the officer of the training camp gave everyone a form. It listed all the facilities and activities in the training camp, and whether points were needed for certain facilities, and if needed, how many. The ways and jobs to earn points, and how many points could be earned. L. Yu Sheng looked at the introduction on the form. A meal in the training camp, buffet, only cost five points. A night's sleep was even cheaper. One point was enough. In other words, if one was only satisfied with three meals a day and sleeping. These 1,000 points were enough for L. Yu Sheng to stay in the training camp for close to three months. But if I want to use the special cultivation room or get the instructor to guide me, it won't be cheap. Gravity training room cost 10 points per hour. Agility training room cost 10 points per hour. Combat training room cost 20 points per hour. Instruction from a normal instructor cost 30 points per hour. Instruction for the chief instructor and the deputy chief instructor cost 100 point to instruct him once. On the other hand, there were other ways to earn points. The points provided by the assessment were quite considerable. For every assessment, no matter how big or small it was, as long as one passed, one would receive 20 points. If one achieved good results in the assessment, one would receive 50 points. If one achieved outstanding results, one would receive 100 points. Of course, the entrance exam had just ended. It was obviously unrealistic to try to earn points in a short period of time through the assessment. Thus, one could only go through other methods, such as doing chores. However, the points one could earn through this method were pitifully low. Cleaning the training room only gave him five points. Even the smallest martial arts training room in the training camp was a few hundred square meters. L. Yu Sheng suddenly felt a little sorry for the students who did not pass the entrance exam and had zero points. He could foresee that for a long time, these people would have to rely on cleaning to make ends meet. Chapter 65 Arm Like a Spear, Warrior with Elemental Talent L. Yu Sheng focused on checking the introductions of the special cultivation rooms. Among them, he was most interested in the gravity training room and the agility training room. According to the introduction of the information, these two training rooms were very effective for a martial artist's BQV and speed. L. Yu Sheng didn't lack inheritance memories of cultivation and other method, experience, or supplements at all. What he lacked most was this kind of rare environment to assist his cultivation. If he could make good use of it, his cultivation speed would be greatly improved. I'll check it out tomorrow. Anyway, I have a lot of points to spare. L. Yu Sheng made up his mind. He threw the room card and the form aside and began his daily cultivation routine. He practiced the stellar body refining technique and the natural breathing technique over and over again, tirelessly. With the continuous improvement of L. Yu Sheng's strength and the continuous unearthing of his potential by the natural breathing technique, the burden of stellar body refining technique on him was getting smaller and smaller. If he only practiced stellar body refining technique alone, it would take a long time to completely squeeze out all of his latent physical strength. It was a far cry from the situation where he was so tired that he didn't even want to move a finger after practicing it a few times in the beginning. This also meant that the effect of the introductory chapter of stellar body refining technique on L. Yu Sheng was getting weaker and weaker. In the dream world, on a dilapidated street, L. Yu Sheng was fighting with four or five figures. All the remaining tough ones in the two nearby streets were attracted by his breath. L. Yu Sheng moved nimbly among several zombies, punching and attacking from time to time. The body technique that broke through the bottleneck was of great help to L. Yu Sheng in actual combat. Any of the five zombies in front of him was more powerful than L. Yu Sheng in terms of pure strength. The strongest one was a tall zombie with half dark red headband on its head. Its strength was several times greater than L. Yu Sheng's. L. Yu Sheng didn't dare to take its fists directly. He could only rely on his position and the other zombies to keep contending with it. As time went by, the number of zombies in the battle group kept decreasing. L. Yu Sheng, 
who has established his absolute martial path, he had almost no obvious shortcomings. No matter what part or form of attack he faced, he could deal with it skillfully. His brain was working very fast. The various fists, legwork, and palm techniques that were categorized in his memory kept surging and turning into the purest battle instincts. L. Yu Sheng casually grasped them and wantonly used them. The essence of martial arts was the body. As long as one's speed and strength were fast enough, all moves would be useless. However, if his speed and strength were not as good as his opponent's, he would need to use his skills to make up for it. Powerful techniques were the capital for martial arts geniuses to challenge those of a higher level. L. Yu Sheng was now relying on his powerful skills to bully these zombies whose brains had withered and shriveled up. When I was in the passageway, I was up against the level 3 martial artist examiner. Although his opponent was caught off guard, he was still able to knock him out within a few moves. It was a complete suppression. As someone who cultivates the absolute martial path, my techniques are far superior to that of ordinary martial artists. Unless my opponent can kill me with a single slap, there is always a possibility of me fighting back. But against these zombies who didn't even have consciousness and only had a little fighting instinct left, it was still so difficult to fight. Just how terrifying were these guys when they were alive? L. Yu Sheng fiercely punched the headband zombie in front of him. Perfection Realm Fist Technique, Six Times Stellar Generation, Natural Breathing Technique, Spiritual Perception. With all these enhancements, this punch represented L. Yu Sheng's current maximum combat power. He didn't know the exact value of his combat power, but it was definitely over 100,000. The fist tore through the air, making a sharp and ear piercing sound. It was so fast that the naked eye couldn't catch it. Boom! This punch fiercely hit the zombie's head. The headband on the zombie's head instantly caved in and disintegrated. Then, the entire head exploded with a bang. The headless zombie maintained its punching posture and fell heavily. Its body weathered, leaving only a thick and long black smoke that entered L. Yu Sheng's body. Phew, after L. Yu Sheng finished absorbing the zombie's memories, he let out a long breath and opened his eyes. There was a complicated expression on his face. No wonder it's so strong. According to the memories, this headband zombie's strength had probably reached level 6 when it was alive. It was equivalent to Xiao Yuhi, the president of Beihe City's Martial Arts Association. One step higher, and it would have been a master martial artist. It's already so strong before reaching the level of Mater. If I hadn't used all my spiritual power to block that punch just now, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been able to take it, thinking about it, L. Yu Sheng couldn't help but feel a lingering fear. In the last exchange of blows with the headband zombie, the headband zombie was actually about to hit him. It was just that he used his spiritual power to shift the zombie's fist a few inches, causing the zombie's attack to miss. That was how he killed it. Spiritual power is still very useful. No wonder spiritual masters are so powerful. This is the most basic use of spiritual power, but it can only be used on zombies. If it was a real level 6 pseudo master, the effect wouldn't have been that great. A real level 6 martial artist's strength would be much stronger than a zombie's. With a combat power of more than 500,000, L. Yu Sheng's spiritual power probably wouldn't be able to change the trajectory of such an opponent's fist. Two streets were completely cleared by L. Yu Sheng. He gained a lot of valuable martial arts memories. L. Yu Sheng didn't waste any time and sat on the ground to practice crystal contemplation method. It would be best to practice crystal contemplation after absorbing the zombie's memories. After one session, whether it was the absolute martial path or his spiritual power, both would have been greatly improved. In his mind, the crystal figure that was once again died black breathed and became transparent little by little. When L. Yu Sheng opened his eyes again, the clarity in his eyes became more obvious, as if they were carved out of crystals. This was a sign that his spiritual power had improved again. My spiritual power has improved by more than 30%, and two aspects of the absolute martial path have broken through. My overall strength has risen again. 
El Yusheng was quite satisfied. He had gained a lot this time, especially the memories provided by the headband zombie. The headband zombie was a master of spear techniques when he was alive, and his attainments in spear techniques were quite deep. This time, the memory absorption directly pushed El Yusheng's understanding of spear techniques to the point where it was second only to the fist techniques. Although I haven't touched a real spear so far, I'll be able to use it sooner or later. On the battlefield with mutated beasts, the spear is recognized as a weapon of mass destruction. And it's not like I can't use it at all now. El Yusheng suddenly punched out. His fist made a sharp sound in the air, like a weapon tearing through the air. Using my arm as a spear. It's also useful for fighting barehanded. After sorting out his gains, El Yusheng stood up and returned to his temporary base in the dream world. Actually, it was where he stored his photon mind. During this time, El Yusheng had been using the photon mind to look up all kinds of information in the dream world besides fighting and training. It could also be considered a leisure activity. As El Yusheng looked up more and more information on the photon mind, his understanding of the martial arts development in the next 10,000 years also deepened. For example, El Yusheng had been hearing people talk about gifted martial artists recently. The appearance of gifted martial artists is actually a manifestation of human evolution. Martial arts itself is a process of constantly discovering the human body's potential, constantly promoting one's own evolution. In this process, the body will have all kinds of inconceivable changes, all of which are normal. Now that martial arts have been around for 300 years, gifted martial artists are rare and precious, and the appearance of one is already amazing. For example, El Yusheng's Beihe City, if not for him, there wouldn't even be one from the last 10 years. But in the future, gifted martial artists might not be everywhere, but at least they wouldn't be considered rare. Moreover, the talents awakened by gifted martial artists are also divided into high and low ranks. The worst are the strength type talents, fierce in the early stages, but mediocre in the later stages. Unless it's an extremely abnormal strength type talent, it's an existence at the bottom of all talents. Next are the defense type and agility type talents, these two talents are slightly better than strength type talents, the potential for growth is greater, and the upper limit for them is higher. This time, there were two talents in the prodigy. Training camp. Actually, whether it's strength, defense, or speed, these talents were still okay, it can only be said that some aspects are more outstanding than normal people, but still within the range of normal people. Going further, it got a bit ridiculous. Elemental Type Talents Chapter 66 I and a Master, Immortal Golden Body El Yusheng looked at this part of the introduction with some surprise. Compared to the strength, agility, and defensive type martial artists, these elemental type martial artists were the real monsters, the new breed of humans. Elemental type martial artists have the terrifying ability to control wind, fire, ice, thunder, and other natural elements. Their growth and upper limit are more than ten times that of ordinary martial artists. Isn't this similar to superpowers and mutants? El Yusheng couldn't help but exclaim. According to the data, even in the coming 10,000 years of martial arts, elemental type martial artists were extremely rare. Finally, there were the spiritual masters that El Yusheng was familiar with. In fact, spiritual masters were also a type of martial artist. They were the rarest, most precious, and most powerful existences among martial artists. But in the coming 10,000 years, a mature, systematic method of cultivating spiritual power would be developed. For example, crystal contemplation method, asterisk. Anyone with a little talent could try to cultivate it. Therefore, in the future, the number of spiritual masters would be much greater than elemental type martial artists. Whether it be a gifted martial artist or an ordinary martial artist, in the end, both work towards the same end. El Yusheng said to himself after he finished reading the info. In the early stages of martial arts, gifted martial artists may have an absolute advantage over ordinary martial artists. But in fact, the further you go, 
the less obvious this advantage becomes. As far as I know, level 7 masters and level 8 grandmasters. Their blood and chi would be as vigorous as gushing rivers. A punch can shatter mountains and sunder the earth, and change the course of a river. They are invulnerable to bullets. Isn't this equivalent to the embodiment of all three attributes of strength, defense, and agility? Further up, level 9 martial sages, level 10, and level 11 star realm experts have all kinds of incredible magical means. It isn't impossible for them to call the wind, summon the rain, and control thunder. How is it any worse than elemental type martial artists? Those with strong martial will, can even control and stimulate their cells to evolve. Can an ordinary spiritual master do that? Martial Deo cultivation is simply a different path that leads to the same goal. In the end, it's all about digging out one's own potential, unlocking the treasures of the human body, and promoting one's existence. L. Yu Sheng himself was the best example. He cultivated the stellar body refining technique and the natural breathing technique, which caused his BQV to skyrocket. His CPI was far beyond ordinary people, so the outside world mistook him for a strength-type martial artist. In fact, he knew better than anyone whether he was or not. Mortals like to categorize all the incredible things that happen to others as gifts and miracles, when in fact, L. Yu Sheng clenched his fists, his eyes glinting. What kind of talent can compare to one's own hard work and wisdom? Martial arts itself is the greatest miracle of the human race. Closing the introduction to the innate martial artists on the photon mind, L. Yu Sheng suddenly remembered that it had been a long time since he had checked his life history. Thinking of this, he gave a command to the photon mind. Show me my personal information. Retrieving. Name, L. Yu Sheng. Gender, male. Lifespan, June 297 MC. March 452 MC. Martial Prowess, Level 7 Martial Artist Life Summary Became a Level 2 Martial Artist at the age of 18, causing a sensation in Beihe City. Later, under the recommendation of the Beihe City Martial Arts Association, he participated in the Dongning Province's Prodigy Training Camp and obtained first place. In the same year, he entered the Dongning University of Martial Arts securing the highest score in the city coming first in the province, and 53rd in the country in the college entrance examination. He became a level 6 warrior at the age of 40. Becoming a level 7 master at the age of 65. In July, year 452 MC, an old injury flared up. He passed away at the age of 156. Hum. L. Yu Sheng's eyes suddenly shone with a strong light and a hint of excitement flashed between his brows. Level 7 Master This time, his future had changed again. He had actually set foot in the Level 7 Master realm in his lifetime. A Master In ancient times, he would be considered a feudal lord. Even now, he would be an important figure. If he became an official, he could easily take on important provincial tasks. If he joined the army, he would be a general in the military ranks. In other words, even if L. Yu Sheng only followed the prescribed path now, he could at least become a master in the future. How could he not be shocked by this? If it were anyone else, if they knew that they would definitely become a master in this lifetime, they would probably be so happy that they would fall to the ground. Phew, L. Yu Sheng took a deep breath, trying hard to calm down the excitement in his heart. Since I've become a master, my evaluation and authority should have increased again. Sure enough, he continued to read. L. Yu Sheng's historical evaluation had indeed reached three stars. His authority had also reached level three. Level three authority, then the techniques I can search for in the Fire Seed repository must be of a higher level, L. Yu Sheng was quite happy and quickly commanded Photon Mind. Search for the follow-up techniques of stellar body refining technique, natural breathing technique, and crystal contemplation method. Retrieving Sure enough, Photon Mind did not prompt him that his authority was insufficient this time. Not long after, 
three techniques were found and presented in front of Liu Sheng. Stellar Physical Refinement Technique, Advanced Technique Introduction, Created by Martial Alliance Level 11 Powerhouse, Wang He Included in the Fire Seed Plan Natural Breathing Technique, Advanced Technique Introduction, Created by Martial Alliance Level 11 Powerhouse, Yang Yus Hu Included in the Fire Seed Plan Crystal Contemplation Method, Advanced Technique Introduction, Created by Martial Alliance Level 11 Powerhouse, Duan Yifeng Included in the Fire Seed Plan L. Yu Sheng clicked on the Stellar Body Refining Techniques Advanced Chapter. With just one glance, his breathing quickened. Forging an eternal will of the unextinguished stars, creating an indestructible immortal golden body. Immortal Golden Body, Stellar Body Refining Technique Tendons and Bones Refinement Chapter L. Yu Sheng had known for a long time that once a martial artist reached level 3, they would begin to refine their tendons and bones. This was also the stage where a martial artist truly laid the foundation, widened the gap, and transformed. This was because at level 4, a martial artist's inner strength was born from their flesh, blood, tendons, and bones. How well their tendons and bones were refined was directly related to their inner strength and the gap in their combat strength. And in the Stellar Body Refinement Techniques Advanced Chapter, there was actually a technique specially created for this stage. It was called the Immortal Golden Body. If I can successfully refine my body using the Advanced Chapter, I can improve all aspects of my body to an incomparably shocking level. And this stage of training should also be the true foundation for the Stellar Body Refinement Technique's future development, where one can reach the realm of immortality and indestructibility, where cellular regeneration is possible, and the physical body becomes invincible. Thinking about it carefully, it felt normal. The Stellar Body Refinement Technique claimed that when cultivated to the end, one's body would contain the mighty power of a star. If one's body was not strong enough, how could one store a star? He was afraid that the heat wave released during cultivation would burn him to death. L. Yu Sheng roughly checked the specific cultivation process of this stage of the stellar body refinement technique. He suddenly found that the new movements unlocked were many times more difficult than before, and many of them needed to be done together with the stimulation of mental strength to be effective. Sure enough, the road of martial arts leads to the same destination but by different means. Physical training is also inseparable from the assistance of mental strength. From another perspective, the stellar body refinement technique's cultivation threshold is also very high. Not just anyone can practice it. At the very least, one must have the talent of a spiritual master. L. Yu Sheng sighed and continued to look at the natural breathing technique's advanced chapter, and released another suffocated noise. So powerful. After reading the contents of the Natural Breathing Techniques Advanced Chapter, L. Yu Sheng could only say these two words. The Natural Breathing Technique, which was slightly mediocre in the entry stage, finally bloomed in the Advanced Chapter. It was not inferior to the dazzling brilliance of the other two Level 11 techniques. The entire Advanced Technique of the Natural Breathing Technique only taught one thing, and that was how to cultivate the special inner strength. When a martial artist is promoted from level 3 to level 4, although the increase in BQV is not much, the CPI will undergo a qualitative transformation. It is because of the appearance of the inner strength. At this stage, the gap between the martial artist widened irrevocably. The inner strength cultivated by a gifted martial artist with a solid foundation and outstanding talent would far surpass that of an ordinary martial artist. Among them, some people could even carry special attribute abilities to their inner strength. Of course, this could only be done by those martial artists with elemental type talents, who were said to be rarer than pandas. It was also because of this that martial artists with elemental type talents had a crushing advantage in the early stages of martial arts. The advanced technique of the natural breathing technique described how an ordinary martial artist could achieve the same level as an elemental martial artist. Let one's inner strength carry special attributes, or even surpass that. And there was more than one special attribute that could be switched back and forth. 
communicate with nature, find the elemental attributes that are compatible with oneself, and thus transform the inner strength. Not only that, the natural breathing technique can also continuously refine the inner strength, making the quality of the inner strength of the practitioner ten times, tens of times, or even a hundred times higher than that of an ordinary martial artist. L. Yu Sheng's heart was surging, and he could not calm down for a long time. This method of creating elemental talent martial artists could already be described as reshaping one's foundation, seizing heaven's fortune, and so on. On the other hand, the advanced chapter of the crystal contemplation method was a bit mediocre compared to the previous two. Chapter 67 Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture, an unimaginably terrifying martial arts technique. The content of the advanced chapter of crystal contemplation method was just to replace the crystal figure with a stronger diamond figure. The spiritual power cultivated this way would be purer and stronger. The three advanced cultivation techniques brought L. Yu Sheng too many surprises, each more powerful than the last. For a while, L. Yu Sheng didn't know which part to start cultivating. Just when L. Yu Sheng felt that he had gained a lot, he suddenly remembered a very important thing. Right, with the increase in authority, I should be able to check the combat skills of a spiritual master. Thinking of this, L. Yu Sheng immediately ordered, bring up all the combat skills suitable for a level 2 spiritual master. Retrieving. In just a few seconds, a large amount of content appeared in front of L. Yu Sheng. Silver Sky Shuttle, Endless Blade Wheel, Hexagonal Star All. L. Yu Sheng read the content one by one, his eyes became brighter and brighter, but his eyebrows slowly wrinkled. How could this be? Is the combat threshold of a spiritual master so high? L. Yu Sheng was a little depressed. It wasn't that these skills weren't strong enough, nor that they weren't suitable for him, but he currently didn't meet the conditions to practice these skills. Almost every type of combat skill suited for a spiritual master needs to be paired with a corresponding weapon. And the manufacturing of these special weapons has very high requirements, which involves a variety of designs, concepts, must be customized by a professional, and the materials used to create various weapons also have requirements. Damn! Spiritual master is simply a pay-to-win profession. He now finally knew that the strength of a spiritual master wasn't just based on the spiritual master himself, but also closely related to the development of contemporary martial arts technology. The manufacturing of many weapons had very high requirements for smelting technology, and with the current level of martial arts technology, it may not be possible to make them. Not to mention those special materials that were rare even in the next 10,000 years. L. Yu Sheng didn't give up and continued to give orders, screen for spiritual weapons that can be made in the first 300 years of the martial calendar. Screening The content in front of him was greatly reduced, leaving only a few types. L. Yu Sheng simply glanced and continued to give instructions. Search for corresponding weapon material production location, simulated environment, 300 years of martial arts. Search for corresponding materials, production location, in the first 300 years of the martial calendar. This was the first time L. Yu Sheng was screening for information in this manner. This already involved the geographical changes of martial arts over 10,000 years, and the location of precious minerals deposits. He didn't know if it would work. But the result was unexpected. There really was one. I've checked the locations of all possible strategic resources in the past 300 years of martial arts. Thankfully, the materials for spiritual weapons were directly listed as a strategic resources. L. Yu Sheng carefully looked at the exquisite and detailed map in front of him. He was surprised to find that there were many marked points on the map that belonged to Dongning Province. Among them were the places where the materials he needed were produced. After that, I'll go online to check, or I'll go there personally to see if it's been discovered or occupied. Of course, this would have to wait until the training camp was over. Since the materials were available, the only problem left to solve was the problem of crafting. Relying on myself to create these weapons is definitely not realistic. 
I can only rely on the military or the government. So it seems. L. Yu Sheng's eyes flashed. I have to find a chance to show off my talent as a spiritual master, he said to himself. The stronger one's talent was, the more resources one could get. This had always been the rule in the martial arts world. Speaking of which, did any of the level 11 powerhouses advance from spiritual master route? What kind of technique did they use? As L. Yu Sheng thought of this, he changed his method and commanded the AI, Photon Mind, pull up the spiritual master cultivation system that has been included in the Fire Seed program. Retrieving L. Yu Sheng stared at the blue screen in front of him and read the contents displayed. He knew that those that could be included in Fire Seed program were the true essence and core of martial arts for the next 10,000 years. He really wanted to know what kind of earth-shattering methods the people who stood at the peak as spiritual masters 10,000 years in the future had. Crystal contemplation method has been included in Fire Seed repository, the first thing that appeared was the crystal contemplation method that L. Yu Sheng had been practicing all this time. As expected, crystal contemplation method is the highest scripture for spiritual masters. There was very little content this time. L. Yu Sheng thought that there would be no result. However, he did not expect that there to be another one after crystal contemplation method. Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture Technique Introduction, created by the level 11 powerhouse Duan Yifeng of the World Martial Alliance. Included in the Fire Seed Program. Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture Level 11 Technique Duan Yifeng it was the same person as the creator of Crystal Visualization. L. Yu Sheng was stunned. He searched for it with the intention of giving it a try, but he did not expect to find such a huge surprise. Moreover, this Divine Illumination Meditation scripture was not incomplete, but complete. In other words, L. Yu Sheng had directly obtained a complete level 11 inheritance. Then why didn't it appear when I searched for it earlier? L. Yu Sheng muttered and began to read this technique. When he finished reading the entire technique, he could not find the words to describe the shock in his heart. Bold, unconstrained, and unimaginable. This was L. Yu Sheng's evaluation of this technique. Of course, it was also unimaginably powerful. No wonder it didn't appear when I searched for battle techniques. Although this technique is within the scope of a spiritual master, it is also specially made for battle, but it is not completely a combat technique. The core of Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture was very simple, so simple that it could be summarized in one sentence, using spirit power to build another body in the martial artist's body. A body that was completely woven out of spiritual power. It could also be called a clone. And the precision of this spirit-powered body could reach the level of muscle fibers, cells, and even genes and there was only one use for building such a spirit-powered clone. To strengthen oneself. To strengthen oneself in all aspects without any blind spots. To double one's ability in the truest sense. The first level of Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture was to use spiritual power to accelerate the body's circulation, thus achieving the effect of increasing vitality. Increasing vitality, asterisk. When L. Yu Sheng first saw it, he thought he had seen wrongly. One had to know that all the methods he had come into contact with, all the methods that could be achieved, and all the methods that could be used to increase vitality in any sense. They were all used to increase combat strength asterisk. Whether it was a perfect level fist technique, a stellar power generation, natural breathing technique, or a push from spirit power. They all relied on special force exertion techniques, or additional pushing force to stimulate the collision between muscles, thereby achieving the effect of explosion with more destructive driving force. In all this, his basic vitality would not change. But the Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture directly subverted this rule, increasing vitality right from the start. The subsequent introduction was even more exaggerated, saying that it could increase all attribute abilities, including the effect of spiritual power itself. This was simply ridiculous. Vitality was the foundation of everything, 
even amateurs who had just come into contact with martial arts knew this. The growth of vitality could only be achieved through hard work, nourishment, and gradual sharpening. There were indeed some methods that could temporarily increase vitality. But that was only by suddenly stimulating one's potential, thus temporarily increasing vitality. It was completely different from what Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture described. No wonder the scripture was not divided into beginner and advanced levels. It was given to me directly, and I could search it with level 3 authorization. Because constructing a perfect clone using spiritual power was undoubtedly an enormous project. It's too cumbersome and too difficult. It requires too much time and energy, and at the same time, it required a sufficient understanding of one's own body structure. If one does not start constructing it at the early stages of martial arts, it would be impossible to complete it in the later stages, even if it was just taking the first step. L. Yu Sheng took a deep breath, trying to calm the surging emotions in his heart. He was greatly shocked. I still underestimated the crystallization of 10,000 years of martial arts wisdom. This kind of cultivation method, let alone creating it now, even thinking about it is impossible. L. Yu Sheng firmly remembered the name Duan Yai Feng in his heart. A person who could create crystal contemplation method and the divine illumination meditation scripture at the same time was worthy of his heartfelt admiration. Such a person is hard to come by once in a civilization. I'm afraid that even among level 11 powerhouses, this Duan Yai Feng should be considered an absolute top existence. He was already a level 11 powerhouse and with the all-around enhancement of Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture, how much more formidable was he? But even such a figure couldn't support the collapsing human civilization. L. Yu Sheng was silent. As it turns out, I was right. The ultimate goal of martial arts cultivation is ultimately to oneself. Even level 11 spiritual master powerhouses to walk the path of using spirit power need to strengthen themselves in the end. Now that I look back, crystal contemplation method does have a bit of intention of building the foundation for divine illumination meditation scripture. Crystal contemplation method also requires the construction of a crystal humanoid. On the other hand, if I have some achievements in divine illumination meditation scripture, cultivating crystal contemplation method will be easier and more effortless. L. Yu Sheng did not continue to delay. He turned off Photon Mind and directly began to cultivate in the dream space. There were many things he needed to do, and he still had a long way to go. He could not afford to waste a single second. Chapter 68 What is that L. Yu Sheng doing? In the following time, L. Yu Sheng wholeheartedly devoted himself to the training in the advanced scripture. He didn't care about anything else. What training camp, what survival game, what assessment, what special training room? What could be more exciting than the crystallization of the wisdom of a martial artist who had been training for 10,000 years? Nothing. Apart from the three meals a day, L. Yu Sheng almost never left his room. All his time and energy were devoted to the training of the three, no, the four supreme techniques. Fortunately, he had enough points. If it was just food and accommodation, it was enough for him to stay until the end of the training. And L. Yu Sheng's strength also advanced by leaps and bounds in this training, sometimes even forgetting to eat and sleep. In the huge training ground, there were various training equipment scattered on the ground, as well as residual sweat, blood, and black footprints. Yang Yuan held a mop in both hands and was working hard to clean the stains on the ground. Yang Yuan, you still haven't finished? Let me help you. A girl walked in and saw Yang Yuan mopping the floor. She naturally picked up a mop and ran over to help. Thank you, Yang Yuan stopped and wiped the sweat on her forehead. She showed a grateful smile to the girl. It's nothing. Didn't you help me earlier? Hurry up and finish up, otherwise I'll have to stay up all night again, the girl sighed and buried her head in the mop. Although her movements weren't standard, she was quite skilled. Yang Yuan nodded with a complicated expression. It had been almost a month since she entered the training camp. During this time, it could be said that she had a difficult time. Eating, drinking, 
sleeping, and living in the training camp all required points. Wanting to experience a better training environment also required points. Everything required points. Where did the points come from? Wasn't it from doing odd jobs, running errands, and being a cleaner? In order to enter the training room, or to ask the instructor for advice, sometimes she had to tighten her belt and starve for one or two meals. And the little bit of arrogance that belonged to a genius had long been worn away. The current Yang Yuan was just a pitiful worm who hoped to survive in the training camp. Every day she could stay was a day more in here. Every day she stayed would be of great help to her future martial arts. Yang Yuan secretly thought in her heart. During this period of time, most of the trainees in the training camp had a hard time just like her. Everyone clenched their teeth and persevered, and those who couldn't persevere left early. Compared to these students who lived at the bottom, those with outstanding talents were even more dazzling. Have you heard? That CAO Yang from Yanglin City has already started to challenge the 4X gravity room. The girl who was helping mopped the floor to her side and raised her head to chat with her. Four times. Yang Yuan was shocked. Really? How could it be fake? Those guys in Yanglin City were so proud of themselves that they bragged to everyone they met that CAO Yang was about to become a level 3 martial artist. After that, he would be able to challenge the higher gravity room. Who knew, he might even be able to set a new record in the training camp. You didn't see the faces of those people. The girl was full of disdain and contempt, but her eyes couldn't hide the sourness she felt. Yang Yuan was shocked. Four times the gravity. She remembered that she had only stayed in the 2x gravity room for about 20 minutes before she almost passed out. She had no choice but to come out early. Her heart ached for the points she had wasted. Four times the gravity, wouldn't she be crushed to death if she went in? What a freak! Yang Yuan sighed, shook her head, and continued mopping the floor. The girl who was helping her was full of energy and continued to tell her all the rumors she had heard. Dong Gang City's Meng Jinhe is also a monster. It is said that he has already completed 70% of the second stage of the agility training room. The highest record in the training camp is only about 20% in the third stage. And that's Yalin, although her results in the training room aren't outstanding, I heard that CAO Yang and Meng Jinhe had privately sparred with her before. Guess what the result was? They both lost miserably. Do you think all spiritual masters are really that freakish? The girl chattered on, and the process contained all kinds of exaggerated tones and sighs. Yang Yuan silently mopped the floor, not saying a word. Suddenly, the girl's words made her body tremble slightly. Yang Yuan, what do you think L. Yu Sheng has been doing all this time? Hiding in the room all day and not coming out. Is he learning from the ancient martial arts masters in the novels? Don't you have a good relationship with him? Do you know anything? Yang Yuan's hands paused for a moment, then quickly returned to normal. I don't know. The girl sighed, and said, I guess you don't know either. This L. Yu Sheng, I don't know what he's doing. When he first came in, he was so fierce that the whole camp couldn't say anything to him. In the end, he withered the next day. The girl picked up the mop in her hand and soaked it in the bucket. She shook her head and said, now that more than a month has passed, everyone's strength, including those of us who didn't mix well, has advanced by leaps and bounds. There are quite a few who have broken through to become level 2 martial artists. If L. Yu Sheng doesn't come out soon, someone will probably catch up to him. Yang Yuan, do you think he's scared? If he knew there would be such an outcome, he might as well hide like a turtle and increase the sense of mystery. The girl stared fixedly at Yang Yuan and asked. Yang Yuan couldn't help but think of that youth's figure. When he was still, he was like ice, silent, calm, low-key. When he erupted, he was like a volcano, wanton, insolent, like a demon king who controlled everything. No, L. Yu Sheng isn't that kind of person. Yang Yuan said in a firm tone. Then he should hurry up and come out. Even if he doesn't support us, 
he should give us some face. The girl held the mop with a crazed expression, it's not like you don't know how difficult it is now. Many of the people in the city have experts backing them, and all the easy and rewarding jobs have been snatched up. All that's left for us is some dirty and tiring jobs that earn us very few points. Those guys are specifically targeting us Beihe city people, can't you see? It's all because El Yusheng was too arrogant when he entered the camp. Since he wants to hide like a turtle now, he shouldn't have attracted so much hatred. Isn't this just digging a hole for us? Fuck. The girl picked up the mop and heavily poked the bucket, causing water to splash everywhere. Yang Yuan forced a smile and comforted, you go take rest, I'll clean up here. After saying that, she quietly cleaned up and didn't say anything else. In a room where the six walls were as black as lead, a strong body sat cross-legged quietly. It was an 18 or 19 year old youth. His skin was dark, and his appearance was ordinary. There was a trace of determination and fierceness between his brows. The youth sat in the middle of the room, motionless, but as if he was enduring an incomparably strong pressure, all the muscles in his body trembled slightly. Sweat condensed into a small stream, slowly flowing down from his muscles. His lower body was already wet. After an unknown amount of time, the youth's face began to become serious and strained. He struggled to lift half a finger, moving it bit by bit and lightly pressed on a white remote control made of unknown material. Beep. Following the beeping sound, the air in the room seemed to lighten. The youth exhaled deeply and slowly stood up from the ground, his whole body emitting a series of bone-cracking sounds. The youth walked out of the room, and a boy who had been waiting at the door immediately handed him a dry white towel. The youth casually took it, and while wiping the sweat on his body, he casually asked, how long did I last this time? Three minutes and fifty-two seconds. The boy quickly reported a number, his face revealing an excited and worshipful expression. C.A.O. Young, you're really too strong. I thought you couldn't hold on any longer and I almost pressed the stop button outside, but you lasted another thirty seconds. There was a large one-way glass outside the gravity training room, so those standing outside could clearly see what was going on inside. This prevented the people in the room from being unable to stop training due to excessive gravity, resulting in a tragedy. Only a little more than a minute longer than last time. CAO Yang frowned, then turned to the boy and said, Next time I go in, I won't press the stop button myself. I'll leave when I only have enough strength to move my little finger, and when you see me move, immediately hit stop. Okay. The boy's face was full of admiration. C.A.O. Yang, you're going to put your life on the line. I'm sure you'll be able to fully adapt to four times the gravity and break through to become a level 3 martial artist. When that time comes, no one in the entire training camp will be a match for you. Level 3 martial artist. C.A.O. Yang muttered, not boasting. Coming back to his senses, C.A.O. Yang asked the boy next to him, Do you know what Xiaolin has been doing recently? The boy thought for a moment, then said, Xiaolin rarely appears in the major training rooms. She has private tutoring from Chief Instructor Dong Kingxiu, and she's also a spiritual master, so her special training methods are completely different from ordinary people. Spiritual Master C.A.O. Yang's eyes abruptly shot out a strong light. So what if she's a spiritual master? As long as my defense is strong enough, Spiritual masters are just a joke. Xiaolin has private tutoring from Chief Instructor Dong Kingxiu, so what? Humph humph humph. C.A.O. Yang's eyes were filled with hostility, confidence, and arrogance. Many people didn't know that the reason C.A.O. Yang had improved so quickly was not only because of his outstanding talent, but also because he had a mysterious and powerful online teacher. Chapter 69 Exit, Scent of the Wind C.A.O. Yang didn't know much about the teacher, but he could feel that the teacher was very powerful. At the very least, he wasn't inferior to the training camp's chief instructor Dong Kingxiu. More importantly, C.A.O. Yang's teacher was also a defense-type martial artist, just like him. 
the two of them were practically from the same lineage. During this period, Cao Yang had been receiving pointers from the teacher every night. His strength had improved by leaps and bounds, and he couldn't believe it himself. The reason why I lost to Xiaolin last time was because I've never fought a spiritual master before, so I didn't know how they fought. If it's now, I might be able to beat her. Cao Yang was full of confidence. His teacher had once said that people like them should have complete faith in their own defense and be fearless. Only then would they be able to unleash their full strength. What about Meng Jin He? How's he doing? Cao Yang asked again. The boy quickly replied, Meng Jin He's training in the agility training room has reached 70% of the second stage. In terms of martial arts strength, he should be far from level 3. Meng Jin He is a problem. Cao Yang frowned. Agility type martial artists were the most troublesome. He hadn't thought of a good way to deal with Meng Jin He, but he would ask his teacher later. His teacher would definitely have a way. Then, Cao Yang asked a few people in the training camp who were quite strong and had awakened their talents. The boy answered one by one. Finally, the boy hesitated and said, Cao Yang. L. Yu Sheng from Beihe City is still the same. He doesn't go out except for eating every day, and he doesn't train. L. Yu Sheng. Cao Yang was stunned for a moment, then quickly shook his head and said, I almost would have forgotten that name if you hadn't mentioned it. L. Yu Sheng is of no concern, he's already crippled. What could a person who cooped up in his room for more than a month be capable of? Treating him as an opponent would be the greatest insult to oneself. Current result, second stage, 81% completion. Along with the pleasant notification, there was a burst of enthusiastic exclamations outside the agility technique room. Fuck, Jin He is too strong. He improved by 11% from last time. 81% of the second stage, I didn't even reach 81% of the first stage. You think you can compare yourself to Jin He? The handsome and slender Meng Jin He smiled as he walked out of the agility training room. What greeted him were gazes of worship, admiration, and amazement. He enjoyed being surrounded. Jin He, you should be able to enter the third stage soon, right? Meng Jin He pretended to think for a moment, then nodded. It should be soon. As long as I enter the third stage, I won't be far from the record of the agility training room. Jin He is trying to set a new record in the training camp. A boy said excitedly. Awesome. He's my idol. Meng Jin He was all smiles, his face filled with pride and confidence. Break a record? Wasn't this an easy task? Looking at the group of worshipping supporters in front of him, Meng Jin He was secretly pleased. These people definitely didn't know that he had long been taken a liking by the deputy chief instructor, Major Qin Shaijun. He had been secretly cultivating himself. If the chief didn't recognize his talent and ability, why would he focus on nurturing him? Wasn't this the greatest recognition for him? If he were to reveal this secret, the group of people in front of him would probably be shocked to death. It was better not to say it. Just like the deputy chief instructor said, it was better for a man to keep a low profile. Meng Jin he thought proudly. Xiaolin sat in a small, dark, sealed room. The sound of something flying through the air was constantly heard in the room, followed by the sound of something falling to the ground. When the light in the room was turned on, Xiaolin opened her eyes. She could see three cones the size of ping pong balls floating around her like planets. Beneath her feet, tennis balls with holes in the middle were strewn all over the ground. Xiaolin's face was slightly pale, and her forehead was covered in a thin layer of sweat. The door opened, and Dong Qingxia walked in. Not bad. You're improving very quickly. You can already control three star cones. When you can control six, it means that you've officially entered the level of a level one spiritual master. Thank you, Chief Instructor. It's all because of your good guidance. Xiaolin saw Dong Qingxiu and quickly stood up to greet her. Dong Qingxiu looked at Charlene with a hint of approval in her eyes. 
she nodded and said, it has to do with your talent and hard work. After praising Xiaolin a few more times, Dong Qingxiu suddenly frowned and said, however, I noticed something. There seems to be a huge flaw in your spiritual will. What's going on? Has someone left you with any psychological trauma? Xiaolin was shocked. A handsome, cold and terrifying side profile subconsciously appeared in her mind. She gritted her teeth and admitted, Yes, Chief Instructor. A spiritual master's biggest taboo is a flaw in one's spiritual will. You have to take this seriously. Dong Qingxiu said solemnly. Instructor, is there any way to fix this flaw? It's simple. Dong Qingxiu said calmly, find the person who left the flaw, then defeat or kill them. The flaw will naturally disappear. Defeat or kill. Xiaolin was shocked. She lowered her head and began to consider the possibility of achieving these two goals. Dong Qingxiu saw her hesitation and could not help but say, you're now in a period of rapid growth. It's actually not difficult to achieve this. Not difficult? Xiaolin bit her lip. Conflict and fear flashed across her face. She heard that that terrifying person had been in a decadent state all this time. If his strength remained at the same level, she might really be able to defeat him. Perhaps. How is it? Dong Qingxiu walked out of the room, leaving Xiaolin alone to think about the training. She bumped into Qin Shaijun, who was waiting at the door. Her talent is good, but her character still needs to be sharpened. She's too weak, Dong Qingxiu gave a fair evaluation. She's soft on the outside but tough on the inside. She can be taught slowly. Qin Shaijun comforted her. Then, he said, is it too late for me to regret my decision? Dong Qingxiu asked in confusion, what's wrong? Is Meng Jinhe's talent not good enough? Qin Shaijun smiled bitterly and said, his talent is all right, but his character. Sigh, let's not talk about it. Dong Qingxiu said calmly, since you've already taught him, you might as well teach him until the end. It's only a month or two anyway. It'll be over if you grit your teeth. All right. Qin Shaijun was helpless. Oh, right. Dong Qingxiu suddenly thought of something. She looked at Qin Shaijun and said, L. Yu Sheng, is he still the same? Qin Shaijun was stunned when he heard Dong Qingxiu mention this name. He then nodded. He's still the same. He only goes out three times a day. Other than that, he stays in the dormitory. No one knows what he's doing in there. I shouldn't have told him that in the first place. Dong Qingxiu suddenly said resentfully. She had told everyone during the assembly that she and Qin Shaijun would not interfere with anyone's cultivation methods. As long as they saw it fit, they could sleep in the dormitory every day and no one would care. Who would have thought that someone would really sleep in the dormitory every day? Most importantly, this person had performed the best in the entrance exam. She had rewarded him with a total of 1,000 points, 10 times more than the other three. This amount of points was enough for him to sleep until the end of the training camp. He was such a good seedling. How did he end up like this? Dong Qingxiu shook her head and sighed regretfully. Qin Shaijun could not help but ask, Are you still using him as a whetstone? Whetstone my ass. Dong Qingxiu walked out without looking back. Let him be. Teach Meng Jin he well. Otherwise, Xiaolin will beat him up badly during the closed door exam. Who's afraid of who? Qin Shaijun shouted indignantly. Then, he seemed to have thought of something and sighed softly. Just as a certain person's name, glory and oppression, gradually faded from everyone's sight, the door of a single dormitory in the training camp finally opened at a different time. It opened quietly. Sunlight shone through the branches of the tree in front of the dormitory and scattered on L. Yu Sheng's face. L. Yu Sheng narrowed his eyes and stared at a pair of flower-tailed sparrows on a tree branch for a long time. L. Yu Sheng only looked away when they flew away. It's been a month, L. Yu Sheng sighed softly. Compared to a month ago, L. Yu Sheng's figure was now more well-proportioned and upright. 
he had grown taller and his hair had grown longer. His skin was fairer and more delicate than a month ago, and his eyes were clearer and brighter. His entire temperament seemed to have undergone some indescribable changes, but no one could pinpoint exactly where. In the past month, L. Yu Sheng had been completely immersed in cultivation. Advanced stellar body refinement techink, advanced natural breathing technique, advanced crystal contemplation method, and advanced divine illumination meditation scripture. He cultivated all four techniques at the same time until he finished all the marrow nourishing pills in his hand. His cultivation progress slowed down slightly. Only then did he stop. How much stronger had L. Yu Sheng become in the past month? No one knew. Even L. Yu Sheng himself did not know. Now, I just want to find a place where I can properly test the growth of my strength, L. Yu Sheng looked at his hands and muttered to himself. Soon, he found it. L. Yu Sheng lifted his feet and walked toward a certain location marked on the map of the base in his memory. He was very fast and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Not only that, his breathing. It seemed to carry the scent of the wind. Chapter 70 Breaking Air in the Gravity Room Prodigy Training Camp, Special Training Room The hall was very big, almost as big as a football field. There were a total of eight entrances to the hall, and all kinds of special training rooms were located in different locations. At one of the entrances, three boys were talking as they walked out. I feel like I've improved a lot. Next time, I'll consider going to 2x gravity room. When the time comes, help me keep an eye. I don't want to have to go to the infirmary with internal bleeding. No problem, but we agreed on a shared room. If you want to try 2x gravity, you'll have to pay the majority of the points. Sure, I'll pay half. For the students at the bottom tier, it was too difficult to earn points. Every point was precious. However, the cost of using the cultivation room was too high. Therefore, sharing a training room with several people had become the most popular choice at the moment. Not only could it maximize the value of renting a training room, but they could also take care of each other during training to avoid accidents. While they were chatting, the three of them saw a figure walking towards them. The person was only walking, but he was quite fast. In the blink of an eye, the three of them lost sight of the person. They felt as if a gust of wind blew past their faces. When they came back to their senses, they found that their bodies had somehow moved to the side, leaving a space for a person to pass through. How come there's such a strong when he passed by? One of the boys muttered curiously. Who cares about the wind? Let's go. We still have work to do. His companion said. The boy nodded. Just as he was about to continue walking, he suddenly noticed that one of the three was staring at the back of the person who had just walked past them. What? Did you see a beauty? The boy waved his hand in front of his companion's eyes. His companion's eyes lit up as if he had caught on to something very big. Did you guys notice the person who just walked past? Who? The two of them followed their companion's gaze and only saw that the person had already walked far away. So fast. The two of them stared. In such a short time, he was already gone. And he was just walking. L. Yu Sheng, that guy is Beihe City's L. Yu Sheng. His companion shouted excitedly. This guy hasn't left his room since the day after he entered the camp. Apart from the mess hall, he hasn't been anywhere else. He actually came to the training room today, this is a huge news. The other two's eyes lit up. Is it really him? How could it be fake? He just walked past us. Quick. Let's follow him. The three of them did not intend to leave. Driven by their curiosity, they quickly chased after him. Is this the so-called gravity training room? L. Yu Sheng sized up the small room in front of him. There was a huge one-way glass on the wall outside the room, allowing one to clearly see the scene inside the room. It was empty inside, and the walls were pure black. There were a total of six such gravity training rooms. Most of them were empty. 
Only one or two rooms had people standing outside, and their attention was focused on the glass panels in front of them. Let's go in and have a look. L. Yu Sheng took out his ID card and swiped it on the card machine outside the training room. The card machine showed the number 365. L. Yu Sheng had a total of 1,000 points. After staying in the room for so long, he still had a lot left. 10 points per hour. L. Yu Sheng thought for a bit and decided, then let's start with three hours. After all, there was still some time before supper. The card machine deducted the points, and the total remaining points became 335. Then the door of the training room made a beep sound, and the door automatically opened. L. Yu Sheng walked in. There was a small empty space in front of the door. Next to it was a dense list of things to take note of. You have to take off your shoes, and you can't bring anything with you. L. Yu Sheng followed the instructions and took out everything from his pocket, put it on the designated shelf, and then walked barefoot into the room. The floor of the room was made of some unknown material, and it was abnormally soft. To describe it in a popular phrase, it was like stepping on shit. When a person walked on it, the floor would slightly sink in. L. Yu Sheng walked to the center of the room. There was a white remote control on the floor. With just a glance, he knew that it was used to adjust the gravity. Let's start with 2x gravity first. He did not take a deep breath, nor did he prepare anything. L. Yu Sheng just casually pressed the start button on the remote control in his hand. Holy shit, this guy doesn't even need to warm up. Outside the gravity room, the three boys couldn't help but blurt out when they saw L. Yu Sheng reach out to press the start button. This guy has been out of the rhythm of the training camp for too long. He doesn't even have basic common sense. One of the boys shook his head and said, The gravity training room is no joke. We're all official martial artists. Our muscles and bones may be fine, and they can withstand sudden changes in external pressure. But the fragile internal organs won't have it easy. If we don't warm up and prepare accordingly, it's easy to cause internal bleeding. Did you forget the first time we went in? Who told him to be so arrogant in the past? It's good to suffer a little and learn a lesson. Another boy said gloatingly. The other two nodded in tacit understanding. Beep. The sound indicated the activation of the gravity mechanism. The three boys smiled and stared at L. Yu Sheng in the room, ready to watch a good show. The glass outside the training room was a one-way glass anyway, so they didn't have to worry about being discovered by L. Yu Sheng. Why isn't there any reaction? Is it because he hasn't activated it yet? It's activated. One of the boys glanced to the side. There was a small screen outside each room, showing the value of the gravity in the room. Now the screen showed that 2x gravity had been activated. Then why isn't there any reaction at all? One of the boys couldn't believe it and moved closer, widening his eyes to get a clearer view. In the room, L. Yu Sheng's face was calm, as if nothing had happened to him. Even his expression hasn't changed. Could it be, just as the other boy was about to voice his conjecture, he saw L. Yu Sheng suddenly raise his hand and throw out a punch. The fist was so fast that it was impossible to see it clearly. Pop! The three of them were stunned and looked at each other. Was that, the sound of a fist breaking through air? The three of them were stunned. The gravity training room was soundproof, so the sound from inside would be weakened and distorted when it reached the outside. So the sound of a fist breaking through air was only the faint sound of a bubble popping in their ears. Holy shit! One of the boys couldn't help but yell. Is that for real? I can't even move a little in 2x gravity, and this guy can make sounds with a punch. Anyone with a bit of martial arts common sense would know. If you want to make the sound of air breaking with your fist, your fist must be fast enough. The other two couldn't believe it either. At that moment, they watched as L. Yu Sheng put down his fist, picked up the remote control, and pressed it. Beep. The gravity training room's gravity changed. The three of them immediately looked at the screen outside the room. A clear line of words appeared on the screen, 
4x gravity activated. The three of them slowly opened their eyes and mouths at the same time. Like triplets, their expressions and movements were synchronized as they turned to look at the scene in the gravity training room. This time, L. Yu Sheng, who was in the room, finally showed some reaction. The relaxed and casual look on L. Yu Sheng's face disappeared, and his expression seemed to be more serious. He moved his body, got up from the floor, and slowly began to move his arms and legs. F.O. F.O., one of the boys said with a shocked expression. Two exclamation marks came out of his mouth. 4x gravity. He can still move under 4x gravity? Hurry up and pinch me, see if I'm dreaming. His two companions weren't much better than him. They looked like they had seen a ghost, and their expressions were dazed. The three of them just stood there and watched L. Yu Sheng in the room continue to move and the speed of his movements was getting faster and faster, and the frequency was getting higher and higher. He's improved today. He lasted more than 20 seconds under 2x gravity. The door to the gravity training room adjacent to them opened, and a pale girl covered in sweat walked out. Her companion, who had been waiting at the door, quickly went up to support her and praised her with a smile. The girl's pale face squeezed out a smile. She was obviously very happy. The two of them talked for a while, and suddenly noticed something strange next to them. Look at these three guys, their expressions are so funny. What are they looking at? Let's go take a look. The two girls curiously walked over and glanced at the data on the screen outside the door. 4x gravity. The expressions of the two girls suddenly changed. Instead of walking, they started to jog and quickly moved towards the glass window. Is C.A.O. Yang in there? He seems to be the only one in the entire training camp who can enter the 4X gravity room. Soon, a figure that was constantly kicking and punching came into view. The two girls were instantly stunned, as if they had been petrified. Their expressions gradually became the same as those of the three boys from before. Holy, shit! The five of them stood in front of the glass for a while, and after who knows how long, someone suddenly came back to his senses and reacted. I'll go get someone. This is too fucking exaggerated, as soon as he turned around, he disappeared without a trace. Chapter 71 Breath of Earth L. Yu Sheng is back. Pang. Pang. Pa. On the training ground. Several boys with baseball bats surrounded C.A.O. Yang and attacked him continuously. The hard baseball bats smashed into C.A.O. Yang's body, but they made a muffled sound as if they were hitting a rock. C.A.O. Yang's skin was a strange grey colour. When the wooden bats hit his skin, they were immediately bounced off. Again. C.A.O. Yang's face was full of anger. He could only passively take the hits and couldn't fight back. There was a fire in his chest that could explode at any time. C.A.O. Young, take a break. Our hands are almost numb, a boy with a baseball bat said with a bitter smile. C.A.O. Young paused for a moment and nodded. Okay, then we'll practice later. Although these people were in awe of his talent and strength and were willing to gather around him, they were still martial arts geniuses. A top figure in the city could not really be his henchman and be wantonly ordered around by him. He had to take care of their emotions. Seeing C.A.O. Young nod, the boys let out a sigh of relief and sat down to rest. Just as they were chatting idly, a person rushed in from outside as if his life depended on it. C.A.O. C.A.O. Young, something, something big happened. The person was out of breath. To be able to make an official martial artist run like this, it must be something very urgent. Something big? What can happen in the training camp? C.A.O. Yang replied indifferently. Suddenly, he seemed to have thought of something. He stood up abruptly and said, Meng Jin he broke the record? Or Xiaolin? The person patted his chest and calmed his breathing. He shook his head and said, It's not Meng Jin he or Xiaolin. Then who is it? It's L. Yu Sheng. That L. Yu Sheng from Beihe City. The person finally calmed his breathing and finished speaking in one breath. 
Al Yusheng entered the Forex Gravity Training Room. He. AI, I don't know. Anyway, he's about to break your record. Let's go have a look. Al Yusheng. CAO Yang's expression froze. This was a name he never thought of. Let's go take a look. CAO Yang thought for a moment, grabbed his clothes on the ground and strode out of the training room. I've almost become familiar with 4x gravity, L. Yu Sheng stopped what he was doing, his face calm. The gravity training room was more interesting than he had imagined. In other words, it was very suitable for his current state. After a month of hard work, L. Yu Sheng, who had improved in all aspects, needed an environment like this that could constantly provide him with pressure to settle down. 2x gravity doesn't affect me at all. I just feel a little more burden on my body. It's like the air has become thicker, and it takes more effort to do the same action as usual. With four times the gravity, this feeling becomes even more pronounced. In the beginning, even breathing was a little difficult. But it's just discomfort. When you get used to it, it's all the same. As L. Yu Sheng thought about it, he picked up the remote control on the ground and pressed the plus button. The gravity increased again. Five times the gravity. L. Yu Sheng felt a sudden pressure on him. L. Yu Sheng felt his body sink down, as if he had suddenly fallen into a swamp, and his movements became increasingly difficult. This pressure should be sufficient, L. Yu Sheng's eyes lit up and he took a deep breath. Now, it's time to test out my new gains. Switch to earth breathing. In an instant, L. Yu Sheng's breathing changed. It was a change that couldn't be described in detail. L. Yu Sheng's chest began to move up and down in a strange rhythm, and his body began to move in a strange way. His feet were tightly gripping the ground. Through the thick floor mats, it was as if there was an invisible force flowing through the ground and into his body. This was one of L. Yu Sheng's gains from this month of hard work. One of the special breathing techniques he had learned from the advanced chapter of natural breathing technique. Earth breathing technique. Although L. Yu Sheng was still far from being able to comprehend the corresponding earth inner energy, inner strength, what he was able to grasp now was enough to bring about a significant boost to his strength. Like now. Yes. Outside the training room, the crowd of onlookers all sucked in a breath of cold air when they saw this. At this time, the small room was already crowded with people. At the same time, there were people rushing in from the eight entrances of the training room. Among them was CAO Yang who had just arrived. How is it? Has L. Yu Sheng come out? How long has he been in the 4X gravity room? CAO Yang asked as soon as he arrived. Before the person he asked could answer. He heard the crowd at the glass window erupt into fierce exclamations. Holy shit, 5x gravity. L. Yu Sheng increased the gravity to five times. Oh my god, if I went in, I would probably be crushed to death. Crazy. Five times gravity. CAO Yang was stunned for a moment when he heard these discussions, then he quickly rushed over and pushed the crowd aside with a sullen face. Motherfucker. Push your father, a boy who was grabbed by the shoulder by CAO Yang turned his head angrily, only to see CAO Yang's scarily sullen face. He was stunned. CAO Yang. CAO Yang was here. The news quickly spread among the crowd. The people in front of the glass turned their heads and looked at CAO Yang with a strange look. This is going to be a good show, someone whispered secretly. CAO Yang pretended that he didn't hear this and looked straight into the room. Inside the room, a tall young man was standing in the middle of the room, his body swaying slightly to a special rhythm. His breathing was steady, and his handsome face was calm. At first glance, CAO Yang's pupil shrank. He could still stand up. CAO Yang turned his head and looked at the small screen next to him in disbelief. The crowd opened up a path for him. Someone joked, CAO Yang, don't look, it's really five times, the screen isn't broken. Haha, <laughs> soft laughter could be heard from the crowd. CAO Yang glared at that person, then turned to look at the training room. 
he was shocked and in disbelief. Five times the gravity. It was really five times gravity. How did L. Yu Sheng do it under this kind of pressure? He, Cao Yang, had a mysterious and powerful martial artist teacher who taught him online every night. He had so many points that he couldn't spend them all. He soaked in the gravity training room every day and gained ten times more than others. His vitality, BQV, had also improved by leaps and bounds. With so many unique conditions, he only dared to try 4x gravity a week ago. It took him a week to achieve the result of 3 minutes in 4x gravity. Yet he couldn't move around like L. Yu Sheng. He couldn't move at all. Under 4x gravity, it was difficult for him to even blink, let alone stand and move around like L. Yu Sheng. How did he do it? Didn't he just come out of seclusion in the dormitory today? Cao Yang pressed his hands on the one-way glass window, staring into the room. His expression was ferocious and exaggerated, even a little funny. At this moment, no one could laugh. Everyone's attention was on L. Yu Sheng in the room. Their expressions were complicated and indescribable. L. Yu Sheng is back, suddenly, someone in the crowd said softly. There were many people who heard this, and their expressions all fell silent. Yes. L. Yu Sheng was back. The L. Yu Sheng who shocked and oppressed everyone when he entered the camp, the L. Yu Sheng who was like a demon king. Now, he was back. Earth breathing can reduce about 10% of the pressure under 5 times gravity, L. Yu Sheng came up with a figure in his heart. It was already a very impressive effect. After all, among the few breathing techniques that he had comprehended, his achievements in the earth breathing technique was the lowest. It was also not the direction that he focused on. The concept of natural breathing technique is very obvious. It is the unity of man and nature, allowing the practitioner to unleash 100% or even 120% of their combat power in any environment. The power of a level 11 technique could only be understood after one had truly practiced and experienced it. That kind of level and structure was not something that ordinary techniques could compare to. 5x gravity is almost suitable for my current cultivation under normal conditions. Under 5 times the gravity, I should be able to do the movements of the stellar body refining technique. If the gravity is increased any higher, it will be difficult. However, L. Yu Sheng knew that this was under normal conditions. The stellar body refining technique could not be casually exposed to outsiders. Therefore, he had to seek pressure. More pressure. Pressure that could push him to his limits. In that case, he would continue to increase the gravity. With a calm expression, L. Yu Sheng picked up the remote control and gently pressed a button. Chapter 72 8 times the gravity, record refreshed, shocking. L. Yu Sheng can't hold on any longer. He's about to turn off the gravity. After all, it's 5x gravity. Being able to hold on for so long is already amazing. If it were me, I wouldn't be able to hold on for even a second. Outside the training room, everyone saw L. Yu Sheng holding the remote control through the window. Almost everyone subconsciously thought that L. Yu Sheng had reached his limit and was about to stop cultivating. Is anyone keeping time? How long has L. Yu Sheng stayed in the training room? Did he break the record? Someone suddenly yelled. Everyone immediately reacted. Yes, a 5x gravity training. This was enough to break the record for the highest gravity training in the training camp. However, whether he had broken the record, he would only know after seeing it. Is there anyone keeping time? Some people followed suit and shouted. Keep time my ass. Isn't there a time record on the display? Just one look and you'll know. Someone replied speechlessly. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Immediately, a group of people gathered in front of the display screen at the door. Cao Yang was also mixed in with the crowd. His expression was solemn, but his eyes were very anxious. Clearly, he was also very curious about this matter. A group of people squeezed in front of the small display screen, each of them desperately trying to move forward. 
the faces of the few people at the front were almost stuck to the display screen. How much time does it show, the man behind him kept urging. How much time? Tell me if once you've seen it. Motherfucker, I can't see because of you guys. A boy with a thick neck roared. Only then did the people behind slowly retreat a little. The display screen was finally visible. The people at the front of the line tried their best to stare at the numbers on the display screen, for fear of missing a decimal point. Under 5x gravity, the activation time is 7 minutes. The crowd burst into an uproar when they heard the words 7 minutes. Holy shit, 5 times the gravity for more than 7 minutes. Isn't this already a record? L. Yu Sheng, this is insane. What is this called? Doesn't the saying go, silent but astounding, one roar amazes all. Do you think he was in seclusion for the past month, practicing some kind of peerless martial art? With this result, could L. Yu Sheng already be a level 3 martial artist? Tisk tisk. Hearing the discussions about him, Cao Yang's heart was filled with mixed feelings. He suddenly felt that all his efforts over the past month had been in vain. The online guidance of a mysterious teacher, the time he spent in the gravity training room ten times longer than others. It was all a joke. Three minutes under 4x gravity and seven minutes under 5x gravity were two completely different concepts, okay? The difference between them. Cao Yang's pride was shattered at this moment. Standing in the crowd, he felt like a clown. Seven minutes and? You haven't completed your words. Yeah, seven minutes and how many seconds? Hurry up and say it. There was another commotion in the crowd. But at this time, the guy at the front of the line didn't say anything. His head was stuck straight in front of the display screen. His expression was blank, and he couldn't utter a word. Fuck, you're occupying the stall but aren't taking a dump. A hot-tempered fatty couldn't stand it any longer and rushed forward to pull them apart. It's just a few numbers. Is it that difficult? As he spoke, he looked up at the display screen. With this look, his entire body instantly froze on the spot, not uttering a single word. After being pulled apart by the fatty, the people blocking the front dispersed quite a bit. The crowd behind also took the opportunity to see the full picture of the display screen. In an instant, everyone fell silent. Their eyes were fixed on the small display screen. Their expressions were as if they had seen a ghost. Fuck, someone choked out a word. He opened and closed his mouth, but no words came out. On the small display screen, a line of clear words was displayed. 6x gravity activated. 6 times the gravity. L. Yu Sheng did not leave the gravity training room yet. He was holding the remote control, not to pause, but to, continue to increase the gravitational force. Cao Yang stood in the crowd and stared at the big six on the display screen. His expression was a little dazed. At this moment, under everyone's watchful eyes, the numbers on the display screen changed again. The original number of six quietly changed to seven. Seven times the gravity has been activated. In an instant. The crowd completely exploded. Today, two more students couldn't hold on and applied to leave the camp, Dong Qingxiu casually threw the two documents aside and said with a cold expression. Qin Shaijun held his coffee and comforted her with a casual expression, they're all spoiled by their families. They're geniuses who are the center of attention in their cities. It's normal for them to not be able to withstand the pressure here. Don't worry, don't worry. They can't even withstand this little pressure? They can't even withstand this little difficulty? Then, when they go to the battlefield and fight against beasts with real swords and spears, can they withstand it? Dong Qingxiu sneered and said, Geniuses in the safe zone will never be considered geniuses. Only geniuses who have experienced the baptism of the battlefield can be considered true geniuses. You're too serious. Qin Shaijun shook his head and said, Actually, the quality of this batch of students is not bad. I estimate that at least 80% of them can last until the day the camp closes. I hope so. 
Dong Qingxiu ended the topic and was about to continue reading the documents in her hand when suddenly, the computer in front of her rang with a crisp notification. Ding dong! A hint of surprise appeared on Dong Qingxiu's face. She opened the message, and the first words that greeted her eyes made her happy. Someone has broken the record of the gravity training room. Dong Qing Shui said. Qin Shaijun, who had been sitting calmly at the side, immediately became interested. So fast? Who is it? Cao Yang? This kid is not bad. Qi Meng taught him well. I should find time to treat him to a meal. Dong Qingxiu's expression became more and more strange as she read the message. Suddenly, she raised her head and looked at Qin Shaijun in a daze. She said, it's not Cao Yang. It's someone you'd never expect. Someone I'd never expect. Qin Shaijun was a little puzzled. Who is it? Dong Qingxiu looked into Qin Shaijun's eyes and said word by word, it's L. Yu Sheng. Pfft. Qin Shaijun spat out the coffee in his mouth and spilled it all over the floor. Who? L. Yu Sheng? That kid came out of seclusion? He's been in seclusion for more than a month, and he still managed to break the record. Qin Shaijun asked a series of questions, his face full of disbelief. Dong Qingxiu nodded and thought for a while. It seems that he didn't completely waste the past month. Coupled with his original strength, it's still possible for him to achieve this result. Qin Shaijun held his cup and wiped his mouth as he said in a daze, that's right. But this kid still gave us a big surprise. It seems that the Whetstone project can continue. Dong Qingxiu smiled slightly and said confidently, Since L. Yu Sheng is back, that's great. I was just worried that Xiaolin's strength was improving too quickly and that no one in the training camp could give her any pressure. L. Yu Sheng's current strength is just right. He can be Xiaolin's Whetstone. Dong Qingxiu paused for a moment and said in a serious tone, a whetstone for one person. Look at you. Qin Shaijun shook his head and walked to Dong Qingxiu's side. Let me see L. Yu Sheng's record-breaking result. I remember that the highest record in the gravity training room is 5x gravity. How many minutes is it? As Qin Shaijun spoke, he walked to Dong Qingxiu's side. Dong Qing Shui let him have the computer. She was about to show Qin Shaijun the message records. Suddenly. Ding dong. There was a new message. Another record-breaking news in the gravity training room. Qin Shaijun's face revealed a look of surprise as he opened the message. Damn, 6x the gravity. It's still L. Yu Sheng. Dong Qingxiu was also a little surprised. It seems that L. Yu Sheng's improvement in the past month is beyond our imagination. This kid. Before Dong Qingxiu could finish her sentence. Ding dong. The third message arrived. It was still the gravity training room. It was still the notification of a new record. It was still. It was L. Yu Sheng. Seven. Seven times the gravity. Qin Shaijun was so shocked that he stuttered. He turned to look at Dong Qingxiu. How much strength did this kid hide? Is he a freaking monster? Dong Qingxiu was also shocked. She did not know how to answer Qin Shaijun. I have to go to the gravity training room to have a look. Qin Shaijun could not hold back and said quickly. Dong Qingxiu's eyes flickered, and she stood up as well. I'll go with you. Okay, let's go meet that kid together. The two of them were ready to leave as they spoke. At this moment. Ding dong. A crisp and pleasant sound rang in the room. This sound seemed to have some kind of special magic, causing Qin Shaijun and Dong Qingxiu to look at the computer screen. Qin Shaijun did not know what to feel. He slowly moved the mouse and clicked on the message. When he and Dong Qingxiu saw the words 8x gravity and L. Yu Sheng's name in the message, both of their expressions froze. The room was dead silent. Then, Qin Shaijun let out a long sigh. This kid L. Yu Sheng. What level is he at now? No one answered him. Dong Qingxiu could not either. Chapter 73 BQV Amplification 
You really aren't afraid of the whetstone breaking the knife? Yang Yuan stood on her tiptoes, trying her best to wipe the stains on the glass. After doing this, I'll get five points. Adding the points I saved up before, it's enough for me to ask the instructor for advice once. The rest is enough for me to enter the combat training room again. Yang Yuan used the back of her hand to wipe the fine beads of sweat on the tip of her nose, calculating in her mind. Logically speaking, with her strength as an official martial artist, her physical strength and endurance were several times that of a normal adult male's. This kind of work shouldn't be enough to make her sweat. But there was a lot to do. In just one morning, Yang Yuan had run to at least seven or eight places and had done no less than four or five different kinds of work. Every job was completed in less than 20 minutes. Under such a high-intensity workload, even with Yang Yuan's physique, her physical strength was almost depleted. Thump thump thump. A girl quickly ran in. Seeing the girl, Yang Yuan hurriedly said, You came just in time. I don't know what's going on today, but there's a lot of work that no one wants. I've already earned 40 or 50 points. Come and help me. The girl ran in front of her and looked at her as if she was an alien. I've been looking for you for so long. I didn't expect you to be in the mood to clean the windows. Yang Yuan squeezed the rag in her hand and asked curiously, Why can't I clean the windows? Do you have a lot of points? The girl stomped her foot heavily and said in a rather helpless tone, Everyone went to the gravity training room. Why didn't you go? Yang Yuan's heart thumped. Today's the group assessment? Why didn't I know? Why didn't anyone tell me? What assessment? It's L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng came out. The girl's face lit up, and she shouted excitedly, and he broke the record for the gravity training room as soon as he came out. Don't even mention how exaggerated it is. Right now, half of the training camp is watching. The girl kept chattering away. Halfway through her sentence, she suddenly realized that Yang Yuan's figure had disappeared in front of her. All that was left was a lonely bucket with a rag that hadn't been wrung dry hanging on the rim of the bucket. She turned around and saw a figure running out of the hall's entrance. Damn, that's fast. When did you learn to fly? The girl shouted exaggeratedly and hurriedly chased after her. Seven times the gravity. L. Yu Sheng's body maintained a slightly bent posture, slowly resisting and adapting to the pressure on his body. He had already pushed the earth breathing technique to its limits. L. Yu Sheng's understanding of the earth breathing technique deepened as he continued to use it under high gravitational force. I'm almost at my limit, L. Yu Sheng thought to himself. After all, in an environment that multiplied the gravity, which wasn't a real battlefield, it tested a martial artist's vitality, physique, and willpower. Under this kind of pressure that was evenly applied to every part of the body, techniques such as stellar power were completely ineffective. Then let's try that technique, L. Yu Sheng took a deep breath. His spiritual power flowed into his body like water and reached his heart. His spiritual power transformed into threads, and in just a few breaths, he weaved an invisible heart that was identical to his actual heart. Unfortunately, this uncanny scene couldn't be seen by outsiders. Otherwise, their jaws would definitely drop to the ground from shock. The skill and hard work involved in this was enough to make people gasp in amazement. This invisible heart, which represented almost all of L. Yu Sheng's non-stop efforts for more than a month, perfectly overlapped with L. Yu Sheng's original heart. Boom! Both hearts beat at the same time. In an instant, a majestic force gushed out from L. Yu Sheng's heart. In an environment with seven times the gravity and absolute silence, L. Yu Sheng could almost hear the roar of his blood rushing through his veins. That was his skyrocketing vitality. As his vitality increased, the pressure from seven times the gravity also lessened. Just by building the heart, my vitality has increased by almost 10%. The effects of the Divine Illumination Meditation Scripture are truly terrifying, L. Yu Sheng slowly stretched his body that was bound by gravity. Vitality was the foundation of a martial artist. 
an increase in vitality would increase a martial artist's abilities in all aspects. It was not as simple as plus one in strength or plus one in agility and speed. An increase of almost 10% in vitality was a huge improvement for Liu Sheng. Moreover, unlike stellar power, this increase did not have any requirements on the physique. Unlike ordinary increase in vitality, the Divine Illumination Meditation Scriptures increase had no side effects and lasted longer. Liu Sheng could feel his spiritual power slowly depleting. Before his spiritual power was completely depleted, this increase would continue. Then I'll just increase the pressure. After Liu Sheng felt his vitality increase, the limit of what he could withstand increased again. He picked up the remote control and pressed the plus button again. Eight times the gravity. Boom. A powerful force pressed down on Liu Sheng's body. Boom. Liu Sheng lost his balance and fell to one knee on the ground. In the end, he had underestimated the terrifying pressure of eight times the gravity. It felt as if ten thousand small road rollers were madly crushing every surface of his body. Liu Sheng could even hear the creaking sound of his muscles and bones pressing against each other. Even the earth breathing technique was of little use under such terrifying pressure. I'm almost at my limit. At this moment, Liu Sheng was glad that he was practicing the stellar body refinement technique. This level 11 body refining technique not only tempered his external body, but also strengthened his internal organs at the same time. The strength of his internal organs was far beyond that of ordinary martial artists. Otherwise, Liu Sheng would have collapsed from internal bleeding. Under these conditions, my spiritual power depletes much faster. Every second I hold on is a challenge for me. But... Liu Sheng breathed slowly, his eyes flickering. Isn't this what I want? Kakik. Liu Sheng's eyes were firm as he straightened his back little by little. Eight, eight times the gravity. Outside the room, a person's expression was sluggish as he muttered, he's actually trying to stand up. Everyone's faces were filled with shock and disbelief. They could no longer find the right words to describe their feelings. After a series of huge shocks, any words or expressions would pale in comparison. There was only one thing they wanted to be sure of, were they dreaming? Was it possible that they had fallen asleep from exhaustion in the process of diligent cultivation, and now he was still living in a dream and had yet to wake up? Yang Yuan covered her mouth with both hands, afraid that she would cry out because she was too excited. Her beautiful eyes were fixed on the young man inside who was trying to stand up little by little. Why was she so excited to see Liu Sheng return? Was it just because they were both from Beihe City? Perhaps even Yang Yuan herself did not realize this. Cao Yang stood in the crowd, the corners of his eyes twitching slightly. His hands were clenched into fists, his nails digging into his palms as if they were about to pierce through his skin. The piercing pain in his palms constantly reminded him that the scene before him was real, but he would rather that it was a dream. Fuck. How can it be so ridiculous? Cao Yang roared in his heart. This guy. Qin Shaijun and Dong Qingxiu stood in the distance. With their eyesight, they could clearly see the scene in the training room through the one-way glass window. Beside them was a soldier holding a laptop. The laptop showed the real-time monitoring of the training room. It was obvious that the soldier was greatly shocked. His hands were trembling slightly as he held the laptop. He remembered the trainee on the screen. On the first day of entering the camp, he had beaten a level 3 first lieutenant half to death. It seemed that he had just recovered and left the hospital. It was hard not to remember such a monstrous existence. It seemed that this monster had become even more terrifying. Are you still confident that Xiaolin can defeat him? Qin Shaijun asked Dong Qingxiu. Dong Qingxiu's face was expressionless. After a moment of silence, she said calmly, before becoming a master, the power of a spiritual master is beyond your imagination. All right. Qin Shaijun nodded helplessly. However, he muttered softly, Stubborn woman, aren't you afraid that the whetstone will be too hard and break the knife? Suddenly, 
Dong Qingxiu's eyes moved. She whispered, he's out. Qin Shijun looked up into the distance. Chapter 74 You don't think Al Yusheng could break my record, do you? Beeb. The prompt made everyone immediately look towards the display screen outside the room. People had their hearts slightly suspended fearing that the number on the display would accidentally take a jump up again by another notch. 4 minutes, 3 seconds, and 24 milliseconds under 8x gravity, someone almost groaned out a value on the screen. The crowd stirred for a moment and then fell into collective silence. At times, when the shock is too much to take in, you simply become numb and get used to it. This is not Al Yusheng's true limit, someone was silent for a while and then slowly spoke. No one refuted it, and many people had complex expressions after hearing it. Indeed, almost everyone who has been in the gravity training room understood. In that environment, when you really reached the limit of your physical strength, it would be difficult for you to even move your little finger. You'd have to rely on people outside to help deactivate the gravity. On the other hand looking at Al Yusheng, who not only had turned off the gravity by himself, but he could even stand up and walk. The gap between them and him simply couldn't be defined with the word big. Creak. The door to the gravity room slowly opened from the inside. Everyone's expression changed, and then they saw a handsome young man with an upright posture walking out of the room calmly. L. Yu Sheng. Seeing the group crowding outside the door, L. Yu Sheng's face showed no fluctuations. After stopping his cultivation, he released his highly concentrated spiritual power and had already sensed the existence of these people outside the room. L. Yu. L. Yu Sheng, Tao, a medium sized, slightly overweight boy, took the initiative to hand a clean white towel to L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng was stunned for a moment and quickly took the towel. He nodded at the boy and said, Thank you. He vaguely remembered this boy. He seemed to be one of the students who came to participate in training from Beihe City this time. No, no need to thank me. It's my pleasure, the boy's face turned red with excitement and he was incoherent. It seemed that L. Yu Sheng accepting his towel was an extremely glorious and face saving thing for him. Several people next to him even showed envious expressions. L. Yu Sheng casually grabbed the towel and wiped off the thin layer sweat on his body. He turned his head to check his performance on the display screen. After seeing the specific statistical time, L. Yu Sheng showed a regretful expression on his face. If he had known that it would take so little time, he wouldn't have paid for three hours. He had lost a lot of points in vain. However, L. Yu Sheng thought of something and took out his ID card and swiped it on the display screen. He should have broken the record of the gravity training room. If he remembered correctly, there was a point reward for breaking records. Beep beep. A value popped up on the display screen. Balance, 4,335. Hiss. Before L. Yu Sheng could speak, there were sounds of deep inhalation, like people were sucking air from behind him. A full four-digit point value. Many people subconsciously reached out to touch their ID cards in their pockets. A number jumped out in their hearts and then their faces showed a dejected expression. It had to be known that the total sum of points of everyone present wouldn't be anywhere near half of the points L. Yu Sheng had. The majority of people did not even have a fraction of the points L. Yu Sheng had. Was this the difference between us? No. This is the difference between humans and monsters. Many people thought firmly in their hearts. More than 4,000 points. L. Yu Sheng nodded. That was almost enough for him to squander. Even if he drowned himself in training rooms every day until training camp ended, these points might not be spent. Where should I go next? L. Yu Sheng thought for a while and quickly determined his direction. The crowd dispersed like tidal water to both sides spontaneously giving way for L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng walked casually in one direction with a light breeze around him. A group of people followed closely behind him while deliberately keeping a certain distance from him. The scene was like a tiger traveling in a forest with hundreds of beasts following behind. Where is he going? Dong Qingxiu looked at L. Yu Sheng's figure with her eyebrows furrowed. 
Qin Shaijun looked in a direction for a moment and said thoughtfully, It seems like, the agility training room. Dong Qingxiu's eyes flickered, and she suddenly spoke, Call Xiaolin over. Training completed. Result, the second stage, 87% completion. Congratulations, martial artist No. RU284363. Your body technique has surpassed 52% of trainees. The pleasant prompt sounded and Meng Jinhe stopped his training with a smile on his face. This training session had increased his completion rate by 6% in stage 2. He had also surpassed a lot of other trainees during this session. The surpassing rate was a feature of the agility training room. Every performance in the agility training room would be uploaded to the World Martial Alliance terminals to obtain a world ranking in body techniques and combat ability. Although this ranking did not include all martial artists in the world, it was still quite authoritative. Meng Jinhe had completed 87% of stage 2 in agility training room and surpassed 52% of martial artists worldwide. That was more than half of them. How many martial artists worldwide used the agility training rooms? Just one half must include at least several hundred million trainees. Not to mention that it may also include many martial artists whose strength was above oneself. Moreover, once oneself makes another breakthrough, one may continue to improve. He saw a very promising future ahead. Meng Jinhe was surrounded by a huge sense of accomplishment and complacency as he walked out of the training room. He was already prepared for how to meet those surprised and admiring eyes outside the door. But his expectations fell short. There was no one outside the training room where usually a crowd would gather, waiting at the door. There wasn't even someone to hand him water or towels. What happened? Meng Jin he was puzzled. He had just worked so hard in the training room thinking how shocked people would be of his achievements. He didn't expect no one to show up. It turned out that he was wrong in expecting something from a blind bunch. Huff puff. A man with dark complexion and an honest appearance ran quickly towards Meng Jin He. Ah. Jin He. You're out. The man saw Meng Jin He and exclaimed in surprise. Yes. Meng Jin He smiled and deliberately looked at the display screen outside the training room with his eyes. He said, I was in a good form today. There's been another significant improvement. Meng Jin he wanted to mention that he had achieved an 87% completion rate today, but the man didn't care at all. He just quickly said, Oh, oh. Since you're done then hurry up. Everyone is here for L. Yu Sheng. After speaking, he picked up a bottle of water on the ground and ran away without looking back. Hey, Meng Jin he froze in place, not knowing what expression to make. What happened? He looked in the direction the boy had left, and only then did he notice that just a short distance away from him, a large group of people were gathered there. It was also a agility training room like the one he was in. It can't be that someone broke my record, right? Meng Jinhe's first reaction was to think of such a possibility. Other than that, why would they all rush and group up in some other room instead of rushing up to him? Meng Jin he hurriedly walked towards the room. When he arrived, he swept a glance at the dense crowd and found the group of people who would usually follow him around, and went up to them. Who are you looking at? Meng Jin he peered over the shoulder of a man. Jin he. When the man saw Meng Jin he, he hurriedly gave way his position and greeted him warmly, Come, come here. This is a good location. Who the hell are you looking at? Meng Jin he got a little impatient. L. Yu Sheng. We're looking at L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng just went in. A person next to him quickly answered. L. Yu Sheng? The L. Yu Sheng from Beihe City. Meng Jin he froze for a moment, and then said with amusement, You guys don't think L. Yu Sheng can break my record, do you? Have you gone crazy? The person who answered him looked him up and down with a strange look and turned his head away from him. Meng Jin he was baffled. What's wrong? Had he said something wrong? That L. Yu Sheng who hadn't left his room for a month? His strength must have definitely taken a plunge after a month of not doing anything. 
At this time, a familiar boy next to him secretly tugged at Meng Jinhee's arm and whispered, Jinhee. Don't say such things. L. Yu Sheng just broke our training camp's record in the gravity training room. He persisted for more than four minutes under 8x gravity. He even stunned Cao Yang. Now he is preparing to practice body techniques. He might also surpass you. Let's watch before we discuss. Buzz. Meng Jinhee's head went blank when he heard words like 8x gravity. His mouth gradually opened wide showing an incredulous expression on his face. Eight times the gravity? Four minutes? L. Yu Sheng? What's going on? If the light touches any part of the body then it's considered a failure. The difficulty will increase with each stage. L. Yu Sheng carefully read the introduction of the rules posted on the wall of the agility training room, gaining a general understanding of the rules of this training room. My body technique has been stuck at a bottleneck for a while. Although I haven't had much practical training in the dream world in the past month, the advanced training of stellar body refining technique has greatly improved various aspects of my physical fitness. With the increase in vitality, BQV, and spiritual power, there should be a significant improvement in my speed and agility, but I wonder how much I have improved. Now is the perfect time to test it. With these thoughts in mind, L. Yu Sheng reached out and pressed the start button embedded on the wall. Chapter 75 Why did the second stage end so quickly? Beep. The sound of a machine being turned on rang out. The next second, several laser probes on the wall emitted red light and shot several red rays of light straight at L. Yu Sheng. So that's how it is. So I just need to dodge the rays, right? L. Yu Sheng leaned slightly to the side, and the red rays swept past him. When he came in, he noticed that the walls around the agility training room were covered with thumb-sized round holes. They were densely packed, no less than tens of thousands in total. Now, it seemed that each of these round holes could shoot out rays of light. It seems that not being able to predict where the rays of light will come from is also one of the difficulties of body technique training. But this difficulty doesn't exist for me. L. Yu Sheng thought, as if he could predict the future, he stood in place and tilted his head. A red ray of light brushed past his ear and shot into the opposite wall. Spiritual Power L. Yu Sheng's huge spiritual power enveloped the entire body technique training room, accurately grasping the changes of each laser probe. Before the red rays of light shot out, he could easily know where all the rays of light were coming from. It was almost like cheating. It's still a bit difficult for me to predict the opponent's attack by capturing the changes in the opponent's muscles and expressions in battle. But if it's a machine, it's simply too easy. L. Yu Sheng stood in the center of the room, thinking about this while moving his body casually, avoiding the rays of light. His posture was calm and collected as if he wasn't in the middle of body technique training, but had just woken up early to do morning exercises in the park. Outside the training room, a group of onlookers looked at each other. They looked at each other and saw the deep shock in each other's eyes. Incomparable shock. How did he do it? Someone couldn't help but ask. No one could answer. Even Meng Jinhee who had always boasted of being a genius in body technique and had great confidence in himself, was stunned. Walking into the agility training room, who wasn't focused, trembling, and highly nervous? There were tens of thousands of laser probes in the training room, and no one knew which ones would shoot out rays of light in the next moment. And if one wasn't careful and was slightly grazed by the rays of light, you failed, the training would immediately stop. Meng Jinhee had now reached more than 80% of the second stage. However, this did not mean that he could let his guard down and treat it casually in the first stage. At the most, he could afford to be more skillful and dexterous than others. But what about L. Yu Sheng? Are you sure this is his first time in the agility training room? Meng Jinhee questioned the boy beside him in disbelief. The boy nodded with a complicated expression. Yes. All of us followed him here. Meng Jinhee fell silent. Looking at the figure strolling leisurely in the room under the elusive light, he fell into deep self-doubt. 
At this moment, he heard someone say something. The first stage is almost over. Before he could finish his sentence, he heard a beeping sound. On the small screen outside the room, words popped up, preparing to enter second stage of training. Everyone fell silent. How did this kid do it? Is this really his first time doing agility training? Qin Shaijun's eyes were fixed on L. Yu Sheng in the monitor. He said in disbelief, why does it look like he's practiced it hundreds of times before? Oh no, even if he practiced a few hundred times, he wouldn't be able to do it so easily. Although the first stage of training wasn't difficult, the arrangement of the light rays during each training session was random and irregular. Why does it seem like he knows where the light rays will come from every time? Tisk tisk, it's like this again. This is too strange. Dong Kingxiu was also staring at the screen, looking up from time to time. Regarding El Yusheng's strange behavior, she had a vague guess in her heart, but she quickly rejected it. Combat intuition, probably. This kid's actual combat ability is super strong so his innate combat intuition must be strong as well. It's not a big deal for him to do that, Dong Kingxiu explained slowly. Qin Shaijun thought to himself, combat intuition is combat intuition, and clairvoyance is clairvoyance. I can still tell the difference. However, before he could say anything, a quiet girl walked up to the two of them. Hello, Chief Instructor, Deputy Chief Instructor. When Dong Kingxiu saw the girl, her gaze softened. She said, You're here. Let me show you something. Then, Dong Kingxiu called out to Qin Shaijun. Let's go closer. We can see more clearly. The closer they got, the more Dong Kingxiu could use her spiritual strength to investigate the situation in the cultivation room. The first stage ended so quickly. L. Yu Sheng was a little surprised when he heard the notification. The first stage ended a little too quickly, and the difficulty was a little too low. It did not even force him to use his movement technique. What training was there to talk about? Looks like I can't keep cheating with my spiritual strength like this. Otherwise, it won't be effective at all. I'll use it only when necessary. As L. Yu Sheng thought to himself, the spiritual strength that enveloped the cultivation room quietly retracted. Suddenly, L. Yu Sheng's expression changed slightly. He noticed that not long after he retracted his spiritual strength, another spiritual strength immediately took over the cultivation room. It even scanned his body without restraint. Judging from the strength of the spiritual strength, it should be Dong Kingxiu. An idea suddenly popped into L. Yu Sheng's mind. Now that Dong Kingxiu is here, it seems like I can implement my plan. At the same time, outside the cultivation room, Dong Kingxiu's expression changed slightly. She thought to herself, I was overthinking. She turned her head and said to Xiaolin, Observe L. Yu Sheng's strength carefully. He should be your biggest opponent in this training camp. Xiaolin nodded and said, Oh. Then, she tried to use her spiritual strength to infiltrate the agility training room bit by bit. Under the probing of her spiritual strength, L. Yu Sheng's figure seemed to be standing right in front of her. Xiaolin couldn't help but tremble as she swallowed her saliva. Come on, Xiaolin. You can do it. This person might not be as scary as you think. Defeat him, remove the shadow, and fix your mental weakness. Come on you can do it. Xiaolin desperately encouraged herself in her heart as she stared at L. Yu Sheng without blinking. She had to admit that this person's figure was very good, and he was also very good looking. Xiaolin looked at L. Yu Sheng's streamlined and well-proportioned muscles and slender body. She could not help but have a thought in her mind. Let me feel it and see how strong it is. Mm, just a simple touch. Just a simple sense of L. Yu Sheng's strength. Xiaolin comforted herself and then used her spiritual strength to carefully place it on L. Yu Sheng's body. The moment her mental strength landed, a strong electric shock was transmitted back to her. Xiaolin let out an awe and quickly retracted her spiritual strength. Then, 
she saw El Yusheng cast a deep look in her direction. His eyes warning her. He, he saw me? He knows that I'm sensing him? Xiaolin was instantly stunned. She stood there in a daze and did not move. What's going on? Dong Qingxiu's puzzled voice sounded in her ear. Xiaolin came back to her senses and subconsciously shook her head. No, nothing. Xiaolin did not dare to tell Dong Qingxiu. She did not know if what she had just experienced was real or an illusion. In her field of vision, El Yusheng was still standing there with a calm expression as if nothing had happened. Maybe, maybe, it really was my illusion. Charlene thought to herself. However, Xiaolin looked at El Yusheng again and could not help but retract her spiritual strength. This person was still very scary. He seemed to have become even scarier than before. I should stay away from him. Looking is one thing, but what do you mean by sensing? That's too much. It was very rude to use one's spiritual strength to casually probe others. If one offended a powerful and ill-tempered martial artists, one could very well be killed. It was necessary for El Yusheng to give this person who had rashly probed him a little warning. He did not need to guess to know that this reckless spiritual strength belonged to Xiaolin. El Yusheng did not continue to care about Dong Qingxiu and Xiaolin. He turned his attention back to the agility training room in front of him. The second stage had begun. Swoosh! Six red rays shot out at the same time, crisscrossing toward El Yusheng. Compared to the first stage, the number and speed of the rays in the second stage were much higher. The red rays were silent. There was no sound as they pierced through the air, and there was no trace of them. Without the foresight of his spiritual strength, El Yusheng could only rely on his reflexes and body movement speed to dodge them. It was more than enough. Completion rate 10%. Completion rate 20%. Completion rate 30%. El Yusheng calmly passed the first 80% of the second stage of the training. Until after 80%. Only then did his expression become slightly more serious. But it was only slightly serious. After breaking through the first bottleneck, the movement technique that was stuck at the second bottleneck was still more than enough for him to handle this level of training. After all, the training with the powerful zombies in the dream world was no joke. Moving among a group of zombies was much more exciting than dodging the rays in the training room. As the number of rays increased, the speed also increased as well. El Yusheng gradually felt that his body movement technique that was stuck at the second bottleneck was beginning to loosen. He had accumulated enough. As long as there was a little pressure, breaking through would be a simple matter. But just as El Yusheng was beginning to feel a little excited and expectant, the ray's momentum came to an abrupt halt. Beep. El Yusheng was stunned for a moment then quickly reacted. Damn, the second stage of the training had ended. How did it end so fast?